Yeah, wow. Hi, hi. Hi, 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 hi. How's everyone doing? <laughs> hi, good evening. Good evening, everyone. Seems like all of you are very, very excited. Hello, me. Hi, Kurasela Bus. Hi, Rabbit. Hello. Hi, Love Me. Hello, hello. Hello. <laughs> <gasps> Do you know how much effort it went to to like choose the decks and like set up everything? Oh my gosh! Ugh, I must ask the question of why Kiko loves uh, Dan Hung so much. Actually, uh, Kiko gave me a different question that I'm, I'm like, I was actually surprised he asked me that question. Let me go and find the question. Oh my gosh, I should have written it down. Sorry, Kiko. What is the question you sent me? What is the question Kiko actually sent me? <laughs> I need to go and find! I need to go and find! Oh, how Tan Hung felt about Tan Hello, Kiko! Hello! <laughs> Will Tan Hung get married? <laughs> You know, you guys have pretty, pretty good questions. Okay, how about this? I'm going to open. I'm going to open. Uh, okay. No, before I, I forget. I'm just going to like make sure the question is. How does um, how does um, how? Chotto matte kudasai. Where is the thing that I'm looking for? Uh. The querent, right? Okay. Um. How? How? Not who? How does? Uh, uh, feel about? Uh, this is gonna be a tough one. It's gonna like take. Um. This is gonna take a while. Okay. This is gonna like like um. Uh, you know, I don't think Kiko is quite the queer in here. Let me just um ask why. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Yeah, yeah. Okay, baby. Alright, so how about this? Okay, so because today the plan is that I'm going to only answer questions that I have kind of like collected before. Um, which is like, I actually collected only like two-ish. Yeah, two-ish. So like... This is how long I see the, the readings and exploration going. So, mm. did you get more cards, Mio? Dayone, I always have more cards. No, let's not talk about that, alright? Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to enable. I'm going to enable a re uh, uh not reward. A channel point thing now. Okay. I will not guarantee that I'll be answering them during this session or during any other session, but I will be willing to collect. Okay, I'm willing to collect some of these. So I have just enabled a channel point redeem. You guys can use it, but... You guys can use it if you want to ask any questions. One per person. And then um, I'll see if I'll be answering it at some other uh, juncture. At some other stream or something like that. Okay? Mm. Yeah, we, we can use it. I've only activated a very specific one, so... You use it, but I may not. I may not agree to read. I may not agree to read for that question. Okay, I just want to make this clear. That that is just for me to collect questions. Uh, just because you send it in does not mean I agree to read for it. Okay, yeah. Of course, Ryan is gonna ask that like uh question. Man, I don't even have any like. Okay, okay. If we get round to it, we'll get round to it, okay? Because I do I do wanna get in some I do wanna get in more um I do wanna get in more Honkai Star Rail uh game game time, game stream time before midnight. Okay, just say <laughs> Yeah, okay. Right, so how have you guys been? Yeah, alright. I like my chances. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I thought Kiko would ask about Ren, Ren Heng or like uh, the her OT for or something, but surprisingly, she asked about Dan Heng and Dan Heng. So now, um, I should introduce my decks. Okay, so on this side, starting from the right, because why not? 
Um, we have wood. We have my main deck, which is the blue, uh, blue dream Sparrow, which is essentially a Rider Waite clone. So it's the same imagery as this one, except um, fancy. Okay, fancy, right? Then this is a smaller version because I found out that I have very limited space here. Okay, and. I don't know if I'll be able to fit this cards of this size depending on the spread. Okay, let me see. Um, let me see if I can show you an example of a spread. Like, look at this, this spread. You see, a spread needs to be able to fit like that. Or like, maybe like this. Oh my gosh, that spread's not gonna fit into the screen, okay? um, Yeah, but in any case, in any case... um. This is for in this is for in case I want to do the fancier stuff, but if not, we're gonna stay with this, okay? And then we have a very special. I will redeem again. I limited it to one purse. I limited it to one per person. I'm sorry, so that you guys don't spam. So that you guys don't spam. But you know what? I'm feeling kind. Let me just limit it to like uh. Let me limit it to like. I'll limit it to 3 per person instead, okay? 3 per person instead. Let's go. It's just a question collector at this point, alright? Yeah. Okay. Ask your questions, but don't spam, alright? Okay, so you can see this is a special deck. It is not a tarot deck, actually. But, um... It is actually... I'm going to read it as an oracle deck. Okay, okay, so this is the Arcanum Vitae deck. It is called the Secret of Life. It is basically a deck that has to do with reincarnation. I'm gonna take I'm gonna like show it to you. I'm not gonna open the deck in front because it's a reflective box. I don't wanna be doxxed, sorry. Um so I'm gonna open it like slightly away. Cha -cha -cha. This is the thick ass this is the thick ass booklet that I will be referring to because oh what the hell is this? Um and then this is the deck. You guys might see that it looks exactly the same as uh, the Fortuna Opal Omen. That's because it kind of is. Essentially, it replaces the entire uh, Major Arcana with... The entire Major Arcana with um, things that have to do with the afterlife, to do with reincarnation. And then I realize... And then I realize that, like... You know, based just based on Kiko's question, this uh the secret of life about reincarnation and stuff, it would probably be pretty useful as an additional um in addition to like whatever I can do with the right away one. So I'm gonna read this as an oracle card and I will be referring to the guidebook, alright? Yeah. I will be referring to the guidebook. So this one is the Arcanum Vitae deck. Now, this one. You guys are familiar with this one. This is one of you guys' favorite ones. Um, the crystal healing properties. It's just an affirmation one. This is kind of like to just just add a, a little fun to the thing. <laughs> uh, guys, just wanted to tell you, Aventurin, Topaz, and all the other things. They they they're inside somewhere. Hold on, let's see. Uh, let's see. We have is Diamond inside. This will be very funny. Sorry, apparently, like, diamond is not considered... It's not considered a crystal, I'm sorry. Uh, so diamond's not inside, but, like... I can't read, apparently. Yeah, that time I remember, I was like... I was like, Aventurin! I was like, what? I pulled out Aventurin? Yeah, anyway, uh, if only that was, like, the gacha. Yeah, so this deck will be... Bringing it in a bit later, I believe. Diamond is just carbon. Yes, yes. So this deck will come in like the latest. I'm just like introducing it so you guys don't don't freak out when I bring it in later. Yes, yeah. Whoa, isn't it exciting? Okay, so we have this one. This one will come after the standard readings. For now, I will yeet this one. Okay, maybe we should just like... uh, hmm, Where should I put this one? Sorry, I put it on top of my container of a barber Q corn. Okay. Hey Laser, what you doing? Uh you can read you can go and read the title of my stream there. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Okay, so today we are going to sorry. Today I'm going to be a bit lower energy because I need to focus a lot on doing readings. I understand that I give the impression that I don't that that um that uh, these readings don't take much, but actually they do. They do take a 
quite a bit. Yeah. All right. So maybe we should try and do a warm up thing. Um, maybe let's see. Uh, Miss. Uh, uh, let's 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 let a one card pool set the tone. All right. Okay. Third card still so pretty. It is pretty, isn't it? It's made of blue foil. Nice. Okay. So is there? I'm just gonna empty my mind and just see like uh, what what the cards say about today's reading. Like how is today's session gonna go or something. Uh, let's see. Wait, this is a check. Well, this is a pretty good one. Um, ten of cups, emotional, uh, emotional fulfillment. I'm seeing like joto joto mate. Uh, I can put it here. Okay, I'm seeing like emotional fulfillment, uh, togetherness, and everything seems like generally generally good vibes, completion. So I feel like we'll walk away from this session, um, knowing more. Uh, it's like come away from this session with more knowledge than we went in with. So I'm thinking that yeah, what a good way to start off the session with, guys. Ten of cups. Let's go. <laughs> well, I, it, I, it's, it's gonna be a lot of emotional fulfillment here. So buckle up, people. <laughs> buckle up, people. Cha 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 cha. I'm going to do the shuffle. Uh, the absolutely glamorous, the most, ah, da, 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 da. The, the most uh, beautiful shuffle you guys have ever seen. The most elegant is called the mahjong shuffle. Okay, this is definitely not messy in any way, guys. This is not messy in any way. I like to say it's not messy in any way. <laughs> it's not messy. It's just it's just stylish. Okay, it's stylish. It's called um. Uh, individualistic uh, type of like shuffling. Yeah, absolutely. It's an individualistic kind of shuffling. This is this is fine. I'm 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 not fine. I'm sorry. I'm not fine. But it is what it is. Okay. So today, um, I just want to say that this is my first time doing the this type of stream. I mean, not my first time doing tarot reading streams, but the first time um trying to do trying to kind of like uh, go about something a bit different so please be patient in case i fumble somewhere okay okay just saying yes please understand thank you okay now that we've gotten that out of the way let's see so maybe we should um start with uh let's start with like hmm how should we go about this okay Let's see what spreads I have. Okay, so I have a spread that is deciphering past lives. I have a spread that is conflict resolution. And I have a relationship spread, but I completely forgot uh, if it's a romantic relationship spread. Okay. I'm going to use a very special spread, okay? It is called the relationship spread. I think normally people will use this for... Uh, people will likely use this for, say... Uh, relas romantic relationships, but this one... This, this spread also works if it is not a romantic relationship. Let me just like... me just anyone with the link can view this okay Pop the link done do, 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 do. Mm, po poker face what do you mean poker face okay i'm just gonna put this uh you guys can so that you guys can see man, man. There we go. Okay, so it's gonna be this spread. This spread you can see at the top right hand corner. Um, if you want to open it up, it's going to be like uh, in the Google Google Drive. Okay, yeah. Ah, okay. Hi Rudolph. She passed on every deck of tarot card you had. Is it all the same card with different design or it's all different? Um, they use the same system. Okay, but they all have fairly different designs. Yeah, they all have fairly different designs. And today I'm using. This is the only tarot. Uh, this is the only tarot deck that I'm using. Oh shit, I forgot to turn on the light. No wonder it's kind of like dark. Wait, give me a moment. Hi, let's go. Alright. 
I forgot to turn on every single light, so you might see that like... Uh, okay. Now let me turn on some images to get things going. Uh, it, though we have like Tan Hung and then we have Tan Feng. Tada! See, I prepared! I prepared some. Give me a moment. Let me just like uh, make sure it's like nice and clear. Yeah. All right, baby. We're done. We're good. You know, that's a Tan Feng. You clearly have no grasp of the High Cloud Quintet. Um, of the High Cloud Quintet uh, stuff. But no worries, no worries. This is what we're going to do today. Okay, so you guys, take a look at the spread we're going to do today. This is the relationship spread. It's about dynamics, okay? It's about dynamics. So let's uh, begin, okay? I'm going to shuffle and I'm going to pull one, two. How, how do you arrange this one? Yeah. So normally, a lot of readings, you need to use spreads like that. Uh, the standard three card spread is enough for like a very uh, simple reading. You can go as deep as you want as well. But oftentimes, people recommend very specific spreads. So this round, I'm using uh, the Dynamics uh, Relationship Spread. So, let's go, baby. Let's go. Uh, okay, the first one is... Um, the first one is a U, which I'm going to do it from the point... I'm going to do it from the point of view of Dan Hung, okay? Yeah. I'm going to do it from the point of view of Dan Hung. Okay. So this is card one. Here's card one, which represents how do you see yourself in this particular relationship. Okay. And then um, this will be... Is this card two? Mm, okay, this one. This is card two, which represents other. How do you see your partner in this particular relationship? Then we have card three. Can you expand the relationship chart? Uh, I put a link. Uh, I put the link. Oh, sorry. I forgot to put the link uh, in YouTube. Uh, give me a moment. I'll just pin it. Give me a moment. I'll pin it. Yeah. Um. Go. Go. You can see the. You can see the, the chart. Sorry, I forgot to put it for YouTube. Okay, this is number three, which is how do you view the relationship in its current state? And then, um, expectations. Why is this arrangement so funny? Expectations. Okay, what's number four? Number four. Okay, this one. This is number four, which is what do you want and expect from this relationship? What is most important to you? Okay. Now, um,. Number five and number six. We still have to pull more cards. Uh, this is like gacha, guys. This is like freaking gacha. Okay. Hmm. How does this relation make you both stronger? Tuck, tuck, tuck. And then, importantly, most importantly, number six, which is weaknesses. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, Luna, for serious questions, uh, please, please use the redeem. When you have decided to ask a serious question, please use the redeem. Thank you. Okay, this weakness is what challenges does this relationship present? How does this relationship hurt you both? Stongs! Okay, I think this is the perfect spread, actually. Let's just like put... Where should I put this? Put the deck. <laughs> this deck. Go here. Uh, yeah. All right. There is no space for anything. There's no space for anything. Okay, so we're going to start off with the first one. Okay, so how do you see yourself in this particular relationship? Well, did the cards actually match Don Hung's color combinations? Does it? It's just blue. Blue is blue, guys. Blue is blue. Okay. First one, how do you see yourself in this particular relationship? Hmm. Okay, so we got the Queen of Pentacles. Now, the Queen of Pentacles. You guys know of the... Suit as like, um, you know this suit of pentacles as like the material, the material uh, good suit, the suit of like, um, you know, status, reputation, and generally it's an earth suit. It's a very grounding earth suit, okay, which is interesting because this is a water dragon. But anyways, um, so the queen is, the queen is a person of abundance. Okay, the queen is a person of like abundance. She's a nurturing figure and stuff like that. And I want to remind you guys that just because you see a queen, just because you see see like, oh, it's a queen, it must refer to a female uh, 
uh, like female person, female character. That is not the case. They just represent. They just represent certain aspects that we see as feminine or we see as masculine. So the Queen of Pentacles can honestly be anyone. All right. They can honestly be like from anyone. Okay. It's from Tarot Studies. I'm learning. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Right. Right. Okay. So what I can see is that Nanang sees himself as the person who has more of an advantage in most sense more of a material advantage why do i say that because if you think about it if you think about it like um well Tanteng, for one thing Tanteng is the one that's still alive <laughs> he's the one that's still alive <laughs> right right and he's been spending most of his life trying to to escape out from under the shadow. So I'm not sure really about like the power dynamics or anything, but clearly, clearly, he has a certain he has a certain level of pride in he has a certain level of pride in his own existence in comparison to like uh Danfeng. Okay. If you think about it in the sense of like he is the one with you know like the physical body he's the current reincarnation he has the he has inherited uh Danfeng's like cloud him powers he also um is in possession of cloud piercer he is also in possession of like Danfeng's like martial prowess and everything so um in many ways in many ways in many ways, he is like the center of like the abundance of material goods, you know. So, so he he is like that that figure that figure that, in comparison to Tan Feng, he probably is just man. Putting it in words is difficult. <laughs> putting this in words is pretty hard. Okay, let me look at the question again and like take a deep breath. How does Tan Feng feel about Tan Feng? Yeah. Of course, despite that, um, the divine feminine energy is still very, um, how to say this? The divine feminine is still a more passive figure, okay? It's still a slightly more passive, like, you know, it's more about the intuition, it's more about the emotions, it's more about, like, the in internal thing. So, I think you can see this from, like, Dan Heng's, like, inner turmoil most of the time. He's not he's not having trouble with fights, man. Our boy is very physically strong, but a lot of this conflict is very internal. Okay? A lot of this conflict is very internal. So although I would say he is currently the one that is winning in a sense, quote unquote winning, you know, quote unquote winning, it still he still has quite a bit to learn in in being able to like truly become his own person so i suppose where that is concerned he he still has a ways to go like he he still needs to find he still needs to find his own emotional footing in this sense okay so that is what i feel when uh, i see like the queen of pentacles as how dan Heng sees himself in this relationship with like dan feng like this is this is pretty this is pretty complicated because they are they're they don't have the standard relationship guys like most people will be like how about this and let's say my friend this and my cousin no 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 this is this and my previously incarnation like bro like bro this this is not a normal relationship so we should not expect normal results of this meeting okay let's move on to the next one okay so card number two is this one number two how do you see your partner in this particular relationship? Oh, Jeebus. We have the reverse um, Ace of Swords. Right, right. So for those of you, if you remember, the Ace of Swords represents... Um, the Ace of Swords generally represents um, an intellectual an intellectual opportunity and intellectual venture. So when you have... So when it's... When it comes to the suit of like air, the air suit of sorts, it's usually talking about like fast thinking, intellect, uh, you know, logic and that kind of thing. So when you turn this upside down, clearly there is something blocking this venture of like uh, this intellectual venture and uh, everything. And from what I can see is that how he sees Dan Feng. How does this relate to how he sees Dan Feng? Is that 
Alpha is literally is literally the one that is literally his mental block. Okay, it literally his mental block. Like for a lot of his life, Dan Dan Heng was thinking like, oh my gosh, like. I'm living in this guy's shadow, man. I'm living in this guy's shadow. How do I get past him? But it's not quite as simple as getting past someone when it comes to something like this, okay? So usually, like, um, like I like to say is that um, Ace of Swords usually means uh, a career venture in a sense. A career uh, occupation kind of thing. Or something you do as your trade. Usually, usually, I want to put a disclaimer. Like usually, that's what it means. But in this case, like as I suppose, if you want to think about it as, uh, Dan Heng as like a video director, Dan Heng as like um a trailblazer, which is currently his occupation, I suppose, right? This this still kind of like stands in his way. This still kind of. Kind, this still kind of blocks him from reaching his true potential. So I would say that. So I would say that Dan Feng is someone who like is still continues to block uh, Dan Heng from reaching his true potential. Okay, because he because Dan Feng is like he he does he doesn't exist, but yet he still exists in Dan Heng's mind. Does it does it make sense? Okay. He does not exist in many senses of the word, but because uh, because he continues to have Dan Feng's powers, because like if you look at this sword, if you look at this sword as like maybe Cloud Piercer or something, right? The things that he has inherited from Dan Feng means that Dan Feng will continue to like stand in his way until like you know will continue to be his obstacle. Will continue to be his obstacle until he can somehow find a way to surpass it. Okay, this is uh, this is kind of like my interpretation of like how he still sees Dan Feng because even though I would say that um as far as far as I understand like the Sienjo art has brought a lot of things to completion. Okay, but just because just because uh, Dan Feng already understands. Already understands like how things are going. He understands the dynamics between uh the high cloud quintet and everything. Doesn't mean that he can already overcome it. Okay, the sense I get from this is that he still has a ways to go to really um to really uh, you know just just kick Dan Feng to the side and really become his own person. Okay, yeah. So that's my reading from like number two. Okay, so. The next one is oh the center card. I don't want to do <laughs> I can't make it on hello. Okay, so now this one. Hi. How do you view the relationship in this current state? Oh, this is an interest this is actually an interesting uh, card, okay? This is the seven of wands, which honestly in um, many in most cases, whenever you look at it, you think of victory. The one word you think of is victory. Okay? Victory, but what is victory? Uh, what is victory? What is creativity? What does this this sense? Where does this sense of superiority like come into, um, come into this, come into this dynamic? Like, how does it actually come into this dynamic? Okay, hmm. This is this is when this is when like the reader has to think. The reader, namely myself. This is when we kind of have to think about it, okay? So, um, the relationship in his current state. So when we think about like victory, we think about like um, does is it that is it that Nan Heng thinks that he has won? Is it is it that this current this current dynamic or what he has accepted? between the two of them, is it something that benefits them both? Like, who is really the one benefiting here, okay? I mean, this tarot cards are never really that direct with anything. So, of course, it is uh, up to us to, like, really interpret that kind of thing, okay? But from what I can tell is that... From what I can tell is that he has... He has found some... He has found um 
he has found a family in like the astral express crew okay he has found like it you know the way the way this the way this person is sitting on his horse the way he's holding the one i don't know i get the feeling it feels like it's him holding cloud piercer it's just it just it just gives me that it just gives me that feeling you know he is able he is able to really um show showcase who he really is you know he is able to showcase who he really is he can showcase the creativity he can showcase the, like the fire that is burning within him and honestly and honestly it is something hmm, interesting that it seems to describe his relationship with the astral crew more than Danfeng. but hmm he is the one who has who has moved forward okay he's the one who has moved forward because before Danfeng got um forced into the molting rebirth okay before Danfeng got forced into the molting rebirth it doesn't feel as if he ever moved forward okay it doesn't feel as if he ever moved forward this gives the feeling of this gives a feeling of you know you're riding through the parade you're moving you're moving right you're moving forward you're going you're going to somewhere else to celebrate right where else i would say that mm, well dan Heng had the chance to move forward even um sorry sorry let me rephrase dan Heng had the chance to move forward where else dan Feng did not have the opportunity to move forward okay but i mean i'm saying this lightly because because opportunities mm, we create our own opportunities guys okay we create our own opportunities so in a sense where he could move forward danfeng could not move forward and this dissonance in terms of the relationship as like pre-reincarnation and current uh current incarnation of almost the same person the same existence the same base existence the high elder right of imbibita lune it's mm, when someone is able to move forward and someone is unable to move forward that is where usually the relationship breaks up don't you think because someone could see someone could see someone could see the importance of moving forward of leaving stuff behind because when you when you gain victory you gain victory usually at a cost right you gain victory at a cost and in Dunham's sense his victory isn't something dramatic like helping <laughs> finding a way for the video that to like reproduce his victory is much more simple than um Danfeng's perception okay his victory is simply that he has found people he cares for he has found people who accept him and he has uh, he's slowly finding himself okay i guess that is the victory that i kind of see him having if you get my drift uh, so he has found a way to move forward from whatever happened and danfeng has not so that is really the main difference that this sent this victory card is kind of like telling us okay so moving on we go on to the expectations what do you want and expect from this relationship what is most important to you so what card is it huh, page of wands okay it's a page of wands right patch of wands so this was previously the seven of wands now it's the page of wands okay so the thing with court cards once again like i said it's not really gendered okay page usually refers to like very pages refer to generally very young people young existences which i kind of feel is um i get the sense it is referring to like dan Heng because he is still very young in the sense of everything he's still fairly young i believe as far as vida daras grow I, go 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 i can't english yeah as far as vida daras uh go he is pretty pretty darn young he acts young so i'm gonna take it as he is still a pretty young existence okay we don't we do not talk about the the details of that all right yeah so when we have like the page of wands he's someone who's still at the start of his journey he's someone who's looking at his wand in wonder he's wondering what's in store for him now okay he's wondering what's in store for him next okay 
So what exactly does he want from this link to from this link to Dunfen? Like from my knowledge, from my knowledge, he doesn't even want this link to Dunfen. Okay, he wants to leave it behind. He wants to cut it off. Okay, he wants people to like never bring this guy up again. Yeah, like in his opinion, he's like this guy's an asshole. He's ruined my life, man. It's like your life. That's my life, and it's just okay. Okay, let's let's stop this reincarnation thing. This sucks, right? Okay, <clears throat> but this sense of wonder, this sense of wonder. Let me think for a bit. I'm kind of almost there, but I need to put it into words. Let's see. What do you want to expect from this relationship? I think what I think what Tan Heng's looking for is a new beginning. He wants a new beginning, okay? Because as with as with most young people, like when you look at a young child in any kind of series, you see beginnings, okay? Children children represent beginnings, okay? New beginnings, new promise, new potential, right? And Really, the spark, the spark that lies within Tan Heng has not yet been extinguished. Okay, it has not yet been extinguished. He's barely begun um, his journey of self discovery and everything. And more than just more than wanting to severe the relationship between him and Tan Feng, it is more of he wants to find out who he really is. He wants to. He expects he expects he expects to learn, okay? He expects to learn. He expects he expects his own beginning. Okay? He doesn't want the begin he doesn't want his beginning to be so closely tied to um to um be so closely tied to the continuance of whatever Tan Feng has been up to in the past life, okay? Because from other people's point of view, right? His beginning has become the continuance of Tan Feng. Okay, where else is where else to him it is very unfair. It is his new beginning, and he needs to like take charge of it, right? So I suppose if he manages to be in the same room with Tan Feng, you know, we we ignore the echo of two dragons. They they clearly did not. Uh, they they clearly were not vibing in there. Okay, we clearly were not vibing. <laughs> in there but assume okay assume they were put in the same room right assuming they were put in the same room and they were civil enough to have like a com a com a conversation okay i would say that mm, i would say that this is what he expects he wants his own beginning okay he wants his own beginning he wants to be seen as his own person okay whether or not Dan Fun can give that to him it is another issue entirely. Okay, it is another issue entirely. Considering Dan Feng is now this presence that no longer exists. Okay, a presence that only exists within uh, Dan Feng's mind. I would say that the power now kind of like lies almost completely with Dan Feng. Mm. So what's most important to him is most likely that he just wants a beginning he can call his own. Okay. He doesn't want to be the continuance of anyone's past. He doesn't want to be seen as a redo. He doesn't want to be... He doesn't want to be pitied. He just wants something. He just wants a beginning that is that he can call his own, okay? Okay, so next up, I would say this is like strength. Okay, so strength. How does this relationship make you both stronger? Okay, how does it make Dan Hong stronger? I look forward to seeing what it is. Okay, let's see. What is this card? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> How does this relationship make you both stronger? Pulls out the freaking four of swords. <laughs> okay. So the four of swords represents a kind of rest, a kind of respite. Um... You know the the you know in simulated universe you have this domain where you call I think it's called respite. Yeah, you know that that part where you kind of rest and recharge and everything. Yeah, if there was a card to describe that domain, it is this card. Okay. 
we have gone through quite a bit of like uh thank you yeah okay that was sheep mom she gave me some croissant it looks like a very delicious croissant i'll probably uh, show you guys in a bit because this is a hand cam stream hey all right so let's just continue let's just finish it this reading and then we can have like a croissant break okay <coughs> excuse me yep so you can see that it shows someone that's lying down someone who is at rest there are three swords on the wall and one sword uh just below the bed okay someone is um so this someone is essentially just taking a break taking a break from something there's this sense of taking a break from something okay hmm as for how it is how does this relation make you both stronger oh hi dark hello hi well i don't know if you guys i don't know if you guys like understand what i'm saying because there's um because you guys have been a bit quiet but like i'll i'll try my best okay i'll try my best hopefully hopefully i'm making sense all right please please tell me if what i'm saying does not make sense because like i would like to i would like to clarify if anything doesn't make sense all right hmm this one is a bit hard let me think for a bit how is rest and respite a strength from each other a strength for both of them You know, I think I got it. I think I got it. Okay, um... I think I got it. So this rest, okay, this feeling of rest, this feeling of like, um, halted movement, okay? It's a good thing for both of them. In a sense that... In a sense that, hmm... For Tan Feng, for Tan Feng, being given the chance to do the molting rebirth has given him this rest okay has given him this rest whatever he had been doing in the past life as the previous in Luni, okay had been very intense mistakes were made um lies were lost and everything so going through molting rebirth and kind of becoming kind of becoming no longer alive he is technically dead i guess technically dead this is the rest that he has been given okay he has been allowed he has been allowed to rest and think about what he has done okay because he has already done what he needs to do okay he has already done what he needs to do and then for Tan Hung, okay, the rest that he has gotten, I would say, I would say this most likely points to his Xian Zhou arc, okay. I think it, I think it's, um, I think it points to his Xian Zhou arc because you realize that a lot of things that happened there, you know, the them finding out that, oh my gosh, you're Vidya, Vidya Dara, oh my gosh, you hold the residual power of imbibitor lune uh, oh my gosh like you have this previous uh connection to everyone right somehow somehow when all of that is over and he is in this state of rest he's in this state of rest you know he told everyone uh yeah you guys have fun at Pinocchio and, and uh, uh, watashi needs to rest after everything yeah that's his rest i believe this is the one that he's talking about Okay, uh, big stretch, thank you. Uh, big stretch. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, just a gentle reminder that the hip pad doesn't show up on this model. If you're hit patting me, you're, hit, you're kind of technically patting uh, medium milk 50% sugar. Uh, let's ice that pros because he's sitting on my head right now. Hey, boy. Yeah, he's sitting on my head right now. Okay. So, in a sense, um, being able to rest has made this relationship both stronger because they are both doing what they have to. It has given them both room to reflect on the purpose that they serve. Okay, if we think of it as if we think of it as a nar narrative thing, okay, a narrative thing. Tan Feng never had a role in the present day uh, Hongkai Star narrative. Okay, I'm gonna pet the dog, not you. 
Jokes on you! I am a doggo, so that means you're petting me. <laughs> okay, yeah. So, so narrative-wise, Tan Feng has no room in the narrative. Okay, in present-day narrative, he is this strong. His presence and his relationship with Tan Feng is this strong precisely because he's dead. Okay, if Tan Feng never did the big sin thing, if he never had to pass away like this then we wouldn't have this relationship here. His relationship wouldn't be as strong. This relationship with Tan wouldn't be as strong. The relationship between the two of them is strong precisely because of the... because of like the narrative roles they both played. Okay? Because of like what... Uh, because of the roles they both played in the narrative. I think it's a bit too... I think it's a bit too narrow if I think of like this reading only as like these two people and what's going on between them instead of like um how they how they play into the story as a whole. So this is where so this is where this rest, you know. Like Tan Feng gets a rest after his role in the story, and then Tan Heng gets his rest after his role in the story. Like this idea of a rest. Excuse me. In the narrative, is how the relationship between the both of them gets stronger. Okay? Hey. So that's what it is. Hmm. Hi, Sayak. <laughs> Reading Vian Ting will be buffed. I don't think that's something the tarot can answer. Yeah. But if you want to, each person can ask me three questions. I cannot confirm I will get to you. Okay? I only promise that I will look at the question. Okay? Yeah. Hi, Ellie Gamer. Nah, you're not too late. Okay, let's go on to the last one. Weaknesses. What challenges does this relationship present? How does this relationship hurt you both? We have a king of cups here. Wow. This is a pretty varied reading. And we have a lot of uh, court cards. I mean, out of six cards, we... Out of six cards, we have three. We have three court cards. Even though they're completely, like, uh, different. They're, they're, they're completely different suits. We haven't had the cup suit yet. Okay, we don't have like a cup suit yet. So this will be fun. Okay, cups, as you know, represent emotions. Okay, like when I pick out, picked out a card to set the tone of uh, today's reading. It was essentially uh, the Ten of Cups. Completion, emotional fulfillment, and like s celebration and everything. Okay, so for the King of Cups. The king is an authority, okay? He is a ruler. He represents a strong foundation of the suit, okay? But as a ruler, he has to be pragmatic, which means that he cannot really um, be as in tune with his emotions as um, perhaps the queen of cups herself. Perhaps um, as one of the younger suits who can be a bit more in tune with their emotions, be... Um, express their emotions a bit more because the king has a lot more responsibilities and everything. And when the king is turned upside down, the liquid in the cup falls out. Okay, the li liquid in the cup flows out and everything. So there is a loss of a certain kind of balance. Oh, thanks. Thank you, Zaya. Thank you. These cards look so amazing. It's very pretty, aren't they? These cards are very pretty. Yeah, I really like these cards. That's why it's my main uh, Rider Waite Smith deck. Because it has the traditional pictures and it looks pretty. I don't need the colors on it. I just need the illustrations, okay? So who can the King of Cups represent? Who can it represent? It can represent either Tan Heng. Or it could represent Tan Heng. It could represent Tan Feng. It could represent them both. Okay, so this is the challenge when you're reading a court card. You never know who they refer to. You never know what exactly it refers to. You're guided by your intuition, okay? Let's see. Ah, like you have a test super derma. Thank you, Antarian. This is my plushy model. Um, if you put exclamation plush L2D, you can see it on like in the Twitch title. Um, you will see that it's made by Honey. Okay, I don't think she offers this type of model anymore. She offers only chibi models, but I still hold this model close to my heart. Those of you who saw my Valentine's Day model, this is the exact same model. Like, I just changed the outfit for like the Valentine's Day one. And it's the only model where uh, medium magnitude with the percent sugar less as that pro sits on my head. Yeah, he's not floating beside me, he's sitting on my head. Hmm. So, yeah. The King of Cups representing you, not Tan Hong. 
I doubt Ding Yuan has any role in this because um, if you look at the question, this this spread, which is the relationship spread, is solely focused on like these two, uh, these two people. So I don't think I don't think, and I don't feel like Ding Yuan has any important role in this. Yeah, he may appear in another reading, but like in this reading, it's mostly uh, these two fellas like right beside me. <laughs> these two fellas. But thank you for your opinion. Yeah, thank you for your opinion. Okay. So when a court card turns upside down, it means that they are not they are not um performing to their full potential. They feel very repressed, okay? Especially for like the King of Cups. I suppose it means like emotionally repressed, a eh, just like emotionally repressed. The the idea that, you know, when you have problems expressing yourself, when you have problems expressing yourself, communicating with people, naturally a lot of misunderstandings can occur okay and this could cause um quite a lot of issues right this could cause quite a lot of issues so this relationship of tan heng and tan feng so how how does this theme of like emotional repression how does it hurt them both how does it hurt them both okay I would say that both Dan Feng and Dan Heng had a huge freaking problem. Had and have a huge problem with not being able to express themselves properly. Okay. I'm gonna be very honest here. This may be my bias, okay? But they both have a problem with like not being able to like um communicate properly how they feel. Okay. In a sense, they are both in a position that makes them kind of like quote unquote a king. Okay, for Tan Feng, it was his role as Im Bibi Telune. Okay, for Tan Heng, I suppose it is his very complicated role of having half the power of Im Bibi Telune, as well as being um, someone who is very, very different from the rest of the Astral uh, Express crew. Okay, so in many ways, pe in many ways, people treat these two as a kind of authority when they talk to them. You know, so I suppose. King of Cups could the reverse King of Cups could really refer to both of them. So how does this how does this position hurt the relationship between the both of them? Or like basically hurt the both of them, okay? The idea is that the drinker of the moon in Bibitalune. Okay. Which is interesting, okay? Drinker of the moon. The one who drinks the moon, right? In Bibitalune, that's kind of like or in Bibitalune, I don't really know what's the correct pronunciation. But um, that's kind of where it's going from. Interesting, interesting that the card that came out is the King of Cups. So maybe they are drinking the spilled. They are drinking the spilled liquid. But I might be going out on a limb there. So, but somehow there's this link of like drinking something. You know, there's this there's this link of like cups, drinks, and uh, whatever. Basically, there are two mid out there. Without there, I mean, I think they have dare. I'm sure they have dare too. But like, we're talking about weaknesses here, okay? If they have dare, that's definitely not a weakness, all right? Right. I'll get to your question later, Ji Song. Your question is in the list. Yeah, there, there's only two questions on the list. Yours is the next one, guys. I guarantee you, Ji Song's question is very lighthearted and not as deep as this. So please look forward to it, okay? Now, um, so the challenges. I, I guess the challenge is that people feel far away from Dan Heng because he is he is both in Bibitalune and not in Bibitalune. Okay? Do you recall in the in the companion mission The Dragon Comes Home that there are both people there are both people who wanted Dan Heng to become the next in Bibitalune versus the people who are like get the hell out of here do not try and take Bai Lu's Bailu Sama's place as the next in Bibitalune. Yeah. He had people being like, please be the next one. And then he had people be like, please don't be the next one. Good lord, get out. Right? So he faces quite a lot of challenges. And as emotionally repressed as he is, he doesn't really get to express that. He doesn't really get to express to everyone that Dude, I have no freaking interest in the Imbibitalune position Get the hell out of my face Like, Dan Feng has given me enough trouble just being my, my past reincarnation, okay? 
And for Tan Feng himself, we don't know much about Tan Feng's past. Okay, we don't know much about his past. But one thing, one thing's for sure, it, it is that he had a problem with letting go. He had a huge problem with letting go emotionally. Literally, the reason the in sedition of Imbibitor Lune came about was because he couldn't let let the fact that his good friend has like gone. He's like he couldn't let go. He could not freaking let go, and it and it hurt him because he could not let go. Okay. Meanwhile, how it links to Tan Heng is that this hurts Tan Heng because this past that Tan Feng created will not let go of Tan Heng. Okay. So you see how it's linked. Tan Feng could not let go of something, so he held on to it. And because he couldn't let go of it, it will not let go of Tan Heng. Okay? It will not let go of Tan Heng. So I suppose it is this it is this emotional repression, this inability to like let go that kind of like ties their fates together. Okay? It ties their fates together. It creates its own challenge for the both of them. They may not be the same challenge, okay? For both Tan Heng and Tan Feng. Like it manifests as different challenges for both of them, but nonetheless, both of them are linked. The, they're linked, okay? Unfortunately, very unfortunately, they are linked, right? If you watch Ikor of Two Dragons, I mean, I watched it several times, mostly to see uh, how the different uh, language dubs kind of like put, put the entire uh, narrative together. And, well, it kind of hints that, you know, they've kind of moved on from that. But based off just this general reading, I get the feeling that this... I get the feeling that this story may not have... May not be done yet, okay? I feel like the next time we go back to Siento, because we all know that we are definitely going back to Siento, maybe we'll be on a different ship this time. Maybe not Lawful specifically, because we have already seen so much of Lawful, right? But this, I don't believe this is the end of the story of Imbibita Lune, okay? Yeah, I get this sense that it is not the end of their story yet. Okay, whether it's gonna manifest as like Tan Heng finding out he has more of Imbibita Lune's powers than he previously thought, whether it's gonna manifest in, in the complicated um, high elder relationship and reincarnation and whatever, I feel like this relationship is not we have not found peace with this relationship yet like Tan Heng has not found complete peace with it um Saudi Saudi san has not found complete peace with it okay so if you want to ask my opinion on whether this relationship is going to come back into play i think yes i think this relationship is not yet done done for in the narrative so you guys can probably look forward to it Okay, if in the future this gets discussed again, uh, you guys can come back to this stream and be like, ha 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 ha, yes, you like freaking predicted it. Uh, but uh, until then, please um, do not quote me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is um, the six card relationship dynamics reading. That took more energy than I expected. See, guys, that took an hour. This six card reading took a freaking hour. <laughs> It took a damn hour to do this reading. <laughs> it took an hour to do this reading. Anyway, Kiko, if you're listening, I hope you enjoyed it. I don't know if you managed to listen to the whole thing, but of course, this VOD is gonna stay up so you can like listen to it in your own time. Unfortunately, I can't um, get you a nice picture of... Uh, I can't get you like a nice perfect picture because of how... Um, uh, how small this place is but uh yeah these are the cards these are the cards yeah super in-depth reading only the best for tan Heng husband though i mean he's technically not really my husband though husband though um but this reading but this spread is very suited for it and it's it it's intended to go a bit deeper yeah it's intended to go, to go a bit deeper so Congratulations, you guys have just seen what goes into a one hour reading. Yeah, interesting read. Thank you, Kiko. Thank you. Thank you for asking the question. I really appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. Yay. I shall keep the cards now. I shall keep the cards now. 
I shall keep the cards now. And um, I don't want the... I don't want the... Uh, I don't want the... the to, to waste the Arcanum Vitae as well. So after I shuffle this, I'll probably bring out that deck and then I'll see if there's any special spray I can do um, with the Arcanum Vitae. Yeah, it's... I've been, I've been studying up on it, but... Okay, let's see. Which is the deck that is... It wasn't... Not this one. It was the Deciphering Past Lives. Let me just take a look at this. Let me just see if it's doable. Okay, we're trying to do a quick one with this one. Okay, let me just go and like share this... Uh, let me go and share this link unpin all right okay so this is currently this will be the spread that i'm using replace pin message okay so please take a look at this spread please take a look at the spread da 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 da, da. We're gonna consult the guidebook for that one. Okay, we're gonna consult the guidebook for that one. So just just so you guys know. Because it is a completely different uh it is a completely different ball game. It is not it is no longer tarot, it is more of an oracle read or stuff like that. Okay. It's like another reading, but I think that I think that it could work. Because it is precisely this theme of like reincarnation and everything. That has, and honestly has me on a chokehold. So let's just um, let's see. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Guys, isn't it satisfying to hear like the shuffling of the cards? I can tell you, it's very satisfying to shuffle the cards as well. Both listening to and like, uh, what? Both listening to and shuffling the cart itself. It's very satisfying, okay? Okay, I shall put this aside for now. Okay, you guys get a break. And I shall bring the... I shall bring the Arcanum VT. It's <laughs> just me. I can bring this deck. This is a very beautiful deck, okay? It is a very beautiful deck and I'm not going to reverse it because there's there's no reversals to be like read for these. So mostly I'm just trying to like make sure the order is messed up enough. Okay, the order is like messed up enough. Da, 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 da. There's only like 23. Yeah, so I believe it is shuffled enough. I'll just do a short look to see if it's like shuffled and everything. Okay, seems like it's shuffled enough, okay? Now. This is the... This will be the guidebook. So I'll have it open here. Deciphering the past life's mysteries, okay? So this is... Uh, this spread came from this book, okay? Just so I can show. Ta-da! It's this one. I took a big picture so that you guys can uh, take a look at the... Yeah, tea break time. I want it to be a tea break! Uh, you know what? How about we take a tea break, alright? We'll take a break. Look at this beautiful deck. And then we're gonna eat... Um, we're gonna have some really uh, delicious croissant, okay? It is a half croissant. Ta-da, guys! It is a half croissant. Do not ask why this is a Shiba plate, okay? Every, almost everything in my household is Shiba. But the, we do not talk about that, alright? Now is a break time. Now is break time. <laughs> croissant. It's a croissant, guys. Look at this. This is a matcha mochi. This is a matcha mochi croissant. And then like, if you look at it. Do you see the mochi? The mochi! It's here! The mochi is right there. Gonna noms. Yum yum! Green croissant. The green croissant. I'm gonna eat the mochi. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why did my mom... Why did mom, my mom give me chopsticks instead of fork? Uh, uh, I'll go.
Oh my gosh, it's yummy. <laughs> it's actually yummy. See, I bit into the mochi. I bit into the mochi. Mm. Cause we Asian got to use the chopsticks. You know, you have a point. Maybe that's why. It's yummy, it's good. Mm. It's so good. Oh dear. You didn't see anything, guys. You didn't see me spilling everything. On the table. Where the cards are supposed to go. You guys didn't see anything. Okay, you guys didn't see anything. The fork would result in more crumbs, I guess. Nah, I think it's just that we're Asian. Mmm, <laughs> it's so good. Mmm. It's so good. I love it. No, it's a matcha mochi uh, croissant. Matcha mochi. Oh my god, it's so good. I have to tell my mom after we eat this. It's so good. It's from Brother Bird. It's from Brother Bird. So, those those where I live, you know where to find it. Brother Bird croissants. Mm. It's so good. After, that's the only cayenne on them. No, this is matcha. And the best part, it doesn't have red bean inside. Mm hmm. Yeah, brother bread. You can search it, brother bread croissants. Oh man, it's yummy. Mmm. Another bunch of boogies. You can find it please buy. The croissants are not cheap. I will admit they're not cheap, but they're so good. They're so good. Tea break, guys. That took way more energy than I expected. Hmm. Mochi! So cool! What's the matcha? I need to tell my mom that this is so good. Mm, no. Please take another look at my very cute uh, Shiba plate. Now, have I tried the apparently award winning chocolate croissant? Nope. I have not heard of it. Nope. Okay, I'm just gonna like give this to my mom. Give this to my mom, and you guys can take a look at the beautiful card. Is back. Water is good, guys. Water is so good. And while I'm at it, uh, I would like to show you guys the barbecue corn that I keep eating. Okay, it looks like this. It looks like this. It's just these tapioca balls. Okay. ASMR. ASMR. Tapioca bobo. Mmm. So good. No, like popcorn. They kind of like popcorn. Oh, this is a big one. Now, the thing about reading is that it takes a lot of energy, so I'm actually re replenishing my energy. Replenishing Watashi's energy. Cedric Rollet? 
Hmm. Okay. I'll take note of it. Never heard of it before, but okay. Okay, this round is only two rows, so we definitely um We definitely have enough space for it, alright? We definitely have enough space for it, so And I'm kind of like I'm so used to shuffling 78 cards that having like I think this is like 24 cards Shuffling 24 cards is like baby <laughs> Okay, so maybe we can look at like the past lives of uh, deciphering the past lives mysteries. Uh, let's see. Okay, so who was I in this past lifetime? We're doing it from the point of view um, of Tan Heng. So let's just try this out, okay? Who was I in this past lifetime? And then, wait, no, it's like this. Then, how are my life and my environment? One, two. This is one, two. Just move this away. Okay. Two. What was my higher purpose? What was my higher purpose? Okay, that one came out. So I'm gonna uh, hold on. Uh, put this. Yeah. What uh, challenges did I encounter? This one, what challenges did I encounter? Wait. What lessons did I learn? And most importantly, what is a symbolic sign from that lifetime? <laughs> oh, okay. Let's go. There are some interesting cards in this deck. I would like to uh, just mention there are some really interesting cards in this deck. So if we see them, I'll explain it. Okay. So we're gonna have the first card. Who was I in this past lifetime? The veil. Okay. So what does the veil mean? Who was I in this past lifetime? The veil. Who is the veil? The veil is number two, right? So mysteries, bridge, intuition, instincts, okay? So the combination of two worlds, okay? So it's the combination of two worlds. I'll just sum it up for you. So, so the veil is kind of like a liminal space. Kind of like the high priestess thing. The high priestess uh, thing. Hmm. Let me take a bit of time to read through. The veil symbolizes a separation between our physical world and the other side. A very thin line between what we see and what we do not see yet we know exists. So it is ruled by the moon. So this is a moon card. Who was I in this past lifetime? The fact that it's ruled by the moon card is really funny. <laughs> yes, because it is. he was essentially the moon in his past life. <laughs> See, I'm not kidding. See, this card is ruled by the moon in astrology. I'm not kidding, guys. I'm not freaking kidding. Yeah, I am not kidding. It's the energy of the divine feminine. Okay? So. So, I would say that. I would say that it is someone who unites two worlds. Someone who unites two worlds. Someone who, um... Brings with them the intuition, the intuition and like the the inner, the instincts, the mysteries and everything of the moon. Okay, the fact that it's Imibita Lune has a huge link to this. Okay, so a unity, someone who was part of two worlds in a sense, part of two worlds. I guess we already know what that's going on. Okay, so number two, how were my life and my environment? Divine guidance. <laughs> By the way, this symbol, you see this symbol here? You guys see this symbol? This symbol is the sun symbol. By the way, I don't need to look at the guidebook to know that. It is the sun symbol. And it is card number 19. Divine guidance. Okay, divine guidance, right? Divine assistance, protection, vitality, will, power. Okay? So let's just see. 
when we are being guided and protected by the universe. So sun is happiness, bliss, optimism, fulfillment, a life force, inspiration, and um, getting close to, you know, a kind, getting close to like finding out. Finding out some kind of truth, I suppose. And whenever whenever obstacles happen, it means that... And whenever obstacles happen, uh, this guidebook says, it means that they were pro... You, you were, it's, it's meant to protect you, okay? There's this sense of like protection and everything. So I would say that... Um, that uh, for, for Tan Heng... For Tan Heng and his past life as like Tan Feng... Imbibito Lune was generally a figure that was divine and always protected, okay? Always protected. Whenever something came up and became an obstacle for them, it was it was the universe's way of like protecting them, okay? So the environment is that the world is kind of like their oyster and there is a lot of optimism and everything, but but of course there is the but there were still limits there were still limits whenever they were trying whenever some they wanted to do something that wasn't meant to be a lot of obstacles stood in their way okay so what's the highest higher purpose the higher purpose is the pathways card i think this is gemini this is gemini so it's number six right number six gemini number six you guys haven't seen the Tada pathways. Pathways card. Isn't it beautiful? Look at this. It's the pathways card. Excuse me. Root by Gemini. So the mirror card to the lovers. You guys know what the lovers are, right? <coughs> mirror card to the lovers. So it's all about like choices, evaluation, uh, free will, and everything. Okay. So when you when you choose to embark on a new life, choose to embark on like reincarnation. It's it's difficult. You wonder where you're supposed to go. You don't know where you're supposed to go. Kind of feeling. Okay. So where these two were concerned, right? This is what was my higher purpose. I guess the higher purpose, the higher purpose of the path of Imbibitulune was to make choices. Was being given the free will to make their own choices, I suppose. Because you realize that um, in Tan Feng's time, he had the free will. <clears throat> he was given free will to make this very specific choice that he did, you know? The whatever happened to cause the sedition, right? He was given the free will. He was given the free will and he made a very specific choice. So I believe what it's saying is that his highest, his higher purpose, his higher purpose was that he had a free will and he could he had the opportunity to make a choice which in the end he did he made a choice but whether or not his choice was good is not not really part of this reading here it's more of what what he was made to do which in a sense was making that very specific choice okay so number four is what challenges did i encounter now what challenges did i encounter chaos pandora's box guys this is a uh, Pandora's box, chaos, card number 16. Card number 16, chaos. Let me just go and find where's card number 16. Chaos, okay. And you know what chaos is? Chaos is the mirror card to the tower. Look at this beautiful card. It's so beautiful, okay. This is the mirror card to the tower. It is Pandora's box. It is burden, negativity, trial, and hope. Okay. So what challenges did I encounter? Well, what challenges did what challenges did Tan Feng encounter? I I don't think I need to say that to you guys. Holy shit. The number of challenges, okay? This card reminds us that the heart should we endure creates the foundations foundation of our lives. Pandora's created as a punishment, okay? The one who bears all gifts. In, I would say that, I would say that this card, the challenge is that 
I guess I don't need to say what uh, what challenges Tanfeng went through, right? I don't have to, right? Okay. But he went through a lot. He went through a lot. And the point is that in this card, do you remember the myth of Pandora's box? Pandora's box held hope as well. As well as the chaos, as well as all the evils of the world hidden inside. When you open it, all of it comes out. But the last one that comes out is hope. So in this sense, the hope that came out of that was probably... Was probably Tan Heng. I feel like it. Like the new incarnation, the hope went to Tan Heng. Because if you think about how the entire process went, his, his deal with the transmutation Arcanum, right? Yeah, that didn't really turn out so well, did it? Right? That didn't really turn out so well. There wasn't much hope in there. There wasn't much hope. There was only despair. Okay? So. If we're talking. If we're talking about a force that pushes us forward, the curiosity, the hope, and everything, then I believe that the challenges that he encountered, the challenges of choice, of having to deal with the consequences of his choices, the challenge of not being able to be there to see, <clears throat> to see everything unfold. Yeah, that is the challenge he encountered. Okay, now what lessons did I learn? I'm interested in knowing this. What's the lesson that he learned? Okay, Limbo. Limbo. Limbo, interesting. Okay, Limbo. This is like number four. Limbo. For those of you who play like Sky Children of the Light, I don't know if any of you play Sky Children of the Light. This looks like, this looks like the, that, that part where when you, um, when, when you perish in that game, you have to fly up to the light. Yeah, this is the limbo that, that we are trapped in. So I thought, hmm, the image looks very, very, very similar. Okay. So this one is card number 14. Okay, card number 14, limbo. A blank slate in a truth harmony piece. Okay, so we have Sagittarius as the astrological um, correspondence. And it is the mirror card to temperance. So for those of you who know what the temperance card is, it is a card where there's this like angel looking person. I think that's the angel. Um, they're holding two cups of water and they're kind of like pouring the water into each other. So it's all about some kind of harmony, some kind of peace, um, some kind of equilibrium, I suppose. Some kind of equilibrium. You know, you're trying to find some kind of balance and footing uh, in this kind of card. Okay. So where positive and negative forces coexist, rebalancing energies, catharsis before enlightenment and everything. So in limbo, when you think of limbo, right? You think of you think of a place that is not really respite, but a place that you are in. You're a place where you try and find answers before you move on. It's a place right before you move on. So what lessons what lessons did um, Dan Heng learn from his past life as like Dan Feng? I would say that it would be... <sighs> it would be the fact that he needs to... It would be the fact that, you know, Dan Feng made mistakes, okay? He made mistakes and he has to... He has to come to terms with it. He has to come to terms with the fact that, you know, that is that is the past. This is the future. It's like I am my own future. And that is that's the only way he can get out of limbo and actually like enter this new stage, you know, with keeping everything in harmony, okay? Because if you try and get out of limbo without figuring out what it is that um you're here to do, it could be pretty bad. Yeah, it could be pretty bad. So I think this is where it is. Hi, Fate. Hello. What is a symbolic sign from that lifetime? Ha ha ha! Life lessons, baby! Life lessons. Do you see this? Life lessons. Card number five, um, astrological sign Taurus, which essentially means this is a mirror card to the Hierophant. Do you guys remember what the Hierophant is? The Hierophant is that uh, Kuai Shushu, 
the hierophonistic kwai shu shu uh you know being like i i am tradition ha <laughs> ha i'm just kidding it's not kwai shu shu it is a person of um much importance of much importance so life lessons guidance wisdom portal advice course uh, astrological correspondence Taurus. it is the Taurus. okay so through a lot of lifetimes, which for the Vidyadara is in this case pretty important because they, while each reincarnation is a new person, okay, while each incarnation is a new person, they still ultimately gather wisdom across all of their lifetimes. Okay, they are one part of this, one small part of this huge umbrella of wisdom that have that has been gathered over the course of their many, many past lives okay and sometimes um and sometimes uh when <clears throat> sometimes when you look for answers you try and ask other people because you don't believe that you know you know the answers right you ask other people because you don't know you don't have the answers but what this card tries and tells us is that is that more than asking someone else for the answer it's likely that you already have the answer and you just haven't found it yet okay you don't because a lot of times we think no i don't have the answers i need to i need help i need to ask other people i need to see i need to get someone's help to figure out who i am but what this card is saying the life lessons card is that through all the wisdom that you've accumulated in the past lifetimes you already have what you need you already have what you need okay so perhaps if we think of it as something like i being like oh shit what do i what do i do now like where is my answer what should i do the fact is that he already knows what he has to do he just needs to find it in himself he just needs to find the answer in himself okay because he has already gone through all the life lessons he needs to Tan Feng has already done his thing okay so from the moment that Tan Feng was reborn from the egg like he was born from the egg and he was like yeah I am now Tan Feng I am my own person he already has every answer that he needs okay there is no mystery there the only mystery here is how he's going to like find the answer in himself and like move on with his own life okay this is this is a slightly more simple. I almost dropped the I almost dropped the book. Holy shit! This is a slightly more simple uh reading, so hopefully you guys can like uh, understand understand where where I'm coming from. Yeah. Oh my gosh, the illustrations are being um being blocked. I hope this works better. This works better. Yeah. Interesting, right? The way different cards can be read with different readings. Hmm? Hmm? Isn't it cool? Isn't it cool? Hey. Okay. So that is. That's all I have to say tonight for um Tan Heng and Tan Feng because I think you guys are sick of me talking about these two already. Okay, you guys are sick of me talking about these two. Okay. Now let's move on to um let's move on to some buys like uh. Let's move on to Ji Song's like uh, question. I I forgot how funny this question is. Anyway, um, <sighs> okay, okay, we'll move on to that. I promised I would get to it, and I I shall um. I will get to it. <laughs> I promise I'll answer this question, okay? <laughs> I promise. The question is, will Silver Wolf finally get to play video games and play? <laughs> Let me change the pictures. Let me change the stupid pictures. Uh... We have Blade and we have Silver Wolf. <laughs> Are you guys ready for um, a much more lighthearted... Um, a 
a much more lighthearted question. <laughs> I'm much more like... I cannot do this. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. Okay, okay. More than that, let me see if I can edit the edit the questions a bit a bit more. I didn't actually make some make edits to the question. Um Okay. Okay, let me change the question. Okay. Okay. How will Silver Wolf finally get a blade to play video games with her? Okay, I think this is a better a much better question, okay? Not exactly lighthearted with some more. I'm gonna go simple with this one. <laughs> There's no fancy. I'm not gonna do I'm not gonna do a fancy spread. Okay guy, okay, I'm not gonna do a fancy spread for this one. There is um There is just a normal it's just a normal spread, okay? We we're not gonna um we're not gonna do a fancy spread, it's just a three card spread as usual, okay? Okay, so the question is will Silver finally like, How will Silver finally get get Blade to play sorry, I I I can't English apparently. Get Blade to like play video games with her. Okay, okay. This is much better. Okay, how will Silver Wolf get Blade to uh play video games with her? We're just gonna do a three card reading and I'll see what I can I can get from this reading, okay? <laughs> this will be a short one. It's so funny, I'm sorry. Let's see. Oh, I finally get Blade to play video games with her. Hmm. <laughs> I love your deck design. Thank you, Kona. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, this this deck is very nice. I think some people think it's green. It's not green. It's blue. Okay, it's 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 it's, it's blue. It just looks green because I put it behind like uh, Dan Hung's like splash art. But it is it is just just blue. Okay, it is just blue. Okay, put this at the side. Uh, hi. Hopefully, this is like good enough, right? Right. <laughs> Wait, Kik? Is that you, Kiko? I mean, I had to resort to using YouTube because Twitch isn't sending my replies, but this question is so wholesome. It's so wholesome, right? Oh my gosh. Oh. I also want to know too, so hopefully the cards can like tell us uh, what, what, what we want to know. Oh my gosh, I can't believe Kiko has to resort to being on YouTube. Uh, best of luck, Kiko. You got this. Okay, let's go. Da -da -da. The chair. <laughs> okay, um <clears throat> this is very interesting because we have one um come on, don't block the way silver wolf. Okay, so that you guys can see everything here. So you guys I need to put this I need to concentrate this. Maybe this layout wasn't the best, but uh it's okay. I'll figure it out next time. Okay, so we have the Chariot, which is a Major Arcana. We have the Reverse Knight of Wands, which is um, a court card. And then we have, once again, our good buddy of Four of Swords. Okay, so let's see how this goes. So I'm gonna read all of them together. So what the Chariot represents, Chariot is like a Major Arcana. It is ruled by... Uh, this card is ruled by... I can't remember, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't remember. I only remember like strength is like Leo. This one was ruled by... Was it Sagittarius? Was it Sagittarius? Oh god, I can't remember. Anyway. The card art looks cool. This is just the standard uh, tarot art. If you search um, tarot the chariot, this art will come up, okay? Yeah. So the chariot, the person who is... Who is controlling the chariot is someone who has to be very strong. Someone who needs immense control, okay? Because when you have two very strong horses, like, uh, pulling your chariot, right? You're gonna... You're gonna need to ha to know how to handle them in order for them not to, like, drag you off the damn chariot or, like, drag the entire chariot off the cliff into somewhere you don't want to be, okay? <clears throat> so there's this theme of, like, uh, control. There's this theme of, like, 
there's this theme of someone who knows what they're doing okay someone who knows what they're doing so i feel like i feel like this is a uh, silver wolf okay silver wolf silver wolf is someone who usually usually from what i can see knows what she's doing okay she knows what's possible and she knows what's not possible and even when something seems impossible she's someone who somehow makes it possible remember she has the ability to freaking edit reality right okay so in this sense this is a very in this sense this card as a major arcana is very crucial in establishing that that um silver wolf knows what she wants and she's capable of getting what she wants so then um so then i guess the next two will explain how she's going to do how she's going to like get what she wants which is for blade to finally play the damn video games with her <laughs> right okay so you guys are familiar with wands fire suit creativity inspiration energy and um as for the knight the knight is if the page is a child the knight is a youth okay and the knight of wands if you if i could just turn it around for a bit look at this person they're ready to charge into battle they're like oh boy i am ready to set fire to the entire damn forest i don't care i'm ready to set fire to the forest because this is my first time playing with fire and god is it very fun okay so um <clears throat> so this knight of wands could refer could refer to silver wolf could refer to blade or it could just it, it could just mean some kind of like energy for like the both of them so give me a moment to think for a bit hmm. yeah i think it's silver wolf <laughs> i think it's zero wolf okay okay so from my understanding of silver wolf i get the idea Okay, this card tells me that this is not the first time she has asked uh, Blade to play games with her. She's like, Blade, Blade, please play with me. And he's like, maybe next time. And then, and then um, two minutes later, he's like, Blade, um, is it next time now? Can you like play with me? And he's like, uh, how about tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, I'm getting the sense that she is someone who like charges forward with what she wants to do, okay? She's someone who... She is someone relentless, okay? And someone who gets things done. But at the same time, at the same time, because because this card is upside down, it means that it means that there is something lacking. There's some kind of energy being blocked. So I would say that... I would say that what this seems to represent is that she is a bit too persistent, okay? There's only so many times you can pester someone before they get a bit sick of it and like they start negatively associating it with you. So for example, if let's say I ask you, hey, you wanna like you wanna play Minecraft together? And then you're like, uh nah, maybe next time. And then if I ask, if I ask you every day for one week, twice a day, hey, you wanna play Minecraft? Don't you think you're gonna get so freaking annoyed that even if you did want to play Minecraft, you don't want to play it with me? Okay, you, you get my drift here? Okay, you get my drift here because there's such thing as too much energy. Okay, there's such thing as too much energy. And in this sense is that she might be setting too big a fire. She might be setting too big a fire for Blade. And even if Blade doesn't have any animosity towards her or playing video games or anything like that this could potentially be one of the reasons why it's like it's it's like this is an obstacle that's in her way it's because she's too persistent okay that she is overwhelming uh blade's illusion of choice he doesn't have a choice eventually you play with her but you you get what i mean <laughs> yeah he's overwhelming her all right and then we have the four of swords which is like i said rest respite being able to withdraw from being able to withdraw from the current situation to take another look at like what's going on essentially you're, you're kind of like 
you are kind of given a break, a breather, so that you can take another look at like the big picture, what's going on and everything. And I guess, I guess the feeling I get from this is that to some extent, she needs to give it a rest. Okay, she needs to give it a rest, right? She, she, it is important for her to make her intentions known, which she kind of already did in the Knight of Wands, okay? But when it comes to the action that she needs Blade to take, which is like from his point of view, she needs to give it a rest, okay? He needs time to like process it. He needs time to think about it. And he needs his own space. He needs his own space. Like, interestingly, don't... Interestingly, Blade uses a sword. So you can see that, you know, look at all these swords. If you think of this person sleeping as like, this person resting as Blade, yeah, this man's got a lot on his shoulders. Um, three swords specifically, right there. <laughs> Excuse me, three swords specifically over there. So, um, he has a lot more important things to think about besides playing video games with Silver Wolf. But he also, he most likely is someone who also acknowledges that, yeah, this video game thing is very important to Silver Wolf. And he is considering it, but he needs time. He needs, um, he needs to take care of the bigger worries in the bigger picture, in the bigger picture before he can really like, you know, breathe a sigh of relief have some have some uh empty hit space have some like ability to go along with like silver wolf's uh whims okay so if you remember when he asked when she asked him to play games with her he mentioned something like uh yeah when my hand heals when my hand heals so, I mean, I don't know why he's hiding underneath the, the bandaged hand. Is it a hand that is full of scar tissue? Is it a hand that is incapable of playing video games? Because even if um, even if a hand is like gravely injured and stuff like that, like even if it has a lot of scar tissue, most hands you're still capable of playing video games. So the sense I get is that it's more of a choice. It's more of an, a conscious choice thing than the fact that he's trying to like... Um, He's, he's, um, he actually can't do it and he's just lying to her like, oh, maybe next time, you know, knowing that next time will never come. So based off, uh, based off these cards, what I can say is that, um, Silver Wolf is someone who will eventually get what she wants. So Blade will eventually play video games with her, but she's gonna have to tone down that persistence. She's gonna have to give him space and she's gonna have to understand and She's going to have to, have to understand that um, he has to be the one to initiate this conversation. Like he has to be the one to be like, uh, yeah, so the other day you wanted to play, right? Um, yeah, uh, can we play now? Yeah, okay. So that is how he can get, how she can get him to play games with her. By not being a little shit and being too forward, being too persistent and giving him the ability to choose, giving him the space and the ability to choose, yeah. So this is what this reading tells me. Mm. So now you know how she's going to like get Blade to play video games. <laughs> there we go. There you go. I hope this um I, I hope this answers the question. <laughs> Welcome. This is my favorite three card spread. I love three card spreads because you can do almost anything with three card spreads. I love it. I love it. But if you want to, uh, Jason, you can take a screenshot of like these cards over here, and then um, just just do whatever you want. No, just do whatever you want. Okay, yeah. Can't imagine Blade saying that. Yeah, he won't say that. That's the thing. He won't say that. But he might. He might find a way to like to to kind of like um to to just be like uh. Okay, I guess also it kind of reluctant because he doesn't really really want to do it. But if it's something important to Silver Wolf, he is not that mean, you know. He's not that mean. He will go along with it, but he needs a bit of he needs a bit of space, you know. He needs a bit of space. He's someone who needs actually a lot of space. But like where this is concerned, where this is concerned, um. Yeah, they're gonna have to figure it, figure something out, you know. 
if a silver wolf is able to do whatever she puts her mind to, but there's some things even she cannot do. <laughs> that's that's kind of like the feeling I can get. Okay, yeah, I don't see that it's impossible. Like like Blade is not that mean, but it's gonna take time. It's gonna take time. It's gonna take time. Okay, you can't really put a timer on the concept of like rest for most people. If you need to rest, you need to rest. If you need to rest for a specific period of time you need to rest so yeah there we go there we go that's the that's the thing <laughs> if you want to you can take a screenshot but i don't know if there's anyone else who'll be able to read this <laughs> read this question <laughs> because this is so niche specifically they can read these cards for you but they cannot read it in like this specific with this specific uh question <laughs> <in tone. laughs> yeah i hope you enjoyed it yay we did it <clears throat> And then as a bonus, maybe I could pull um, a crystal affirmation card. Let me just take out the deck. Wait. Hi, 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 hi. We have the beautiful, gorgeous uh, crystal cards. Let's go. Hi, hi, hi. Wait, wait. Oh, 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 oh. Let's go. I think it's this one. Hoi. Moonstone. I am connected to the extraordinary feminine energy within me. I value my emotional healing and growth. Okay. So I suppose what this card essentially, um, what this card essentially validates is that, you know, Considering Silver Wolf is like the center of this reading, what what it's saying is that, you know, she does she has to like value emotional healing. People need space, yeah. People need a lot of space in order to go through emotional healing and growth. So despite the high energy in this reading, despite the kind of like Go getting go get her energy in this reading. It feels like she This is what's missing, you know. She needs to value that uh, rest and space is needed for like emotional healing and growth. Yeah. So you know, even though she's like ki kind of the person who's waiting for him to be ready, she can also take this time to like become a better person to develop her own emotional healing and her own growth. But uh, that me that 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 is completely up to her as well. Yeah. So tada! I love my affirmation cards. They speak the truth. The affirmation cards always speak the truth. Yay! I love this deck. I'm gonna keep it. Da 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 da. And I would also like to announce that I have officially like. I've officially like run out of like proper reading energy. Okay, two hours has done it. Two hours has like taken my energy away. <laughs> two hours is like okay, that's your limit, baby. That's your limit. Yeah. So this is this is actually the reason why I didn't want to turn on the redeem in the first place because uh because I. I knew I knew that I wouldn't have enough energy besides for anything this besides these two questions. Yeah, I just knew. I just knew. Okay. So for those of you who have uh used the redeem to ask questions, I will take them into consideration. If I like them, maybe the next session we can do it. But like for now, for now, um I won't be reading anymore. I won't be reading anymore. I will I will actually like perish. <laughs> How I actually perished. Okay, so now there there are some things that I um there's some things that I need to do, okay? I would I in order to be considered for like the Twitch uh, stream incentive for HSR, I do need to stream a bit longer. I need to stream the game a bit longer. So when it comes to that, um for my homies on uh for my homies on YouTube. Do you want me to continue streaming on this uh, specific uh, on this specific link, or should I just end it on like 
YouTube and <clears throat> just continue streaming on Twitch. I mean, I do kind of want to archive it, but like, uh, yeah, I do kind of want to archive it. It's just like an extension. Like I've, I've done the reading part of it. I would of course change the screen, I've changed the screen, but like, uh, but I think Twitch site, I'll be able to, I'll be able to change the title as well as the category. So like there's no issue there. Stream HSR more. Yeah, I kind of want to stream HSR more. We're in the middle of a very uh, intense part of the story. And yeah. A lot of you guys haven't haven't seen my progress in the game as well. Because uh, Luocha is finally viable as a replaceable... As a replaceable... As a replacement of... Uh, as Natasha's replacement. So I've transferred her relics to him. Uh, though... Though... Um, yeah, Kamiya Kodo, you told me that he scales according to like attack, right? His attack isn't very high at the moment, so that's a bit of a that's a bit of a bummer. He is kind of fast though. Not as fast as my sparkle, but fast. Fast enough. Fast enough, yeah. Okay guys. If that is okay, then I guess I will switch over, okay? So for the YouTube side, I will maintain the same title. I'll maintain the same title. We'll just change the interface and stuff like that. Then for uh, the Twitch side, for the Twitch side, I will change the title. I will change the game category. So we're gonna take a short break. Okay, we're gonna take a shortish break for maybe. Uh, yeah, maybe you know you know what? Never mind. I'll just put you guys on the. I'll put you guys on the waiting screen. The please wait screen. While I change everything, then I'll come back. Okay. Okay. See you guys in just a bit. Tashi's buck. I didn't change the model because I um yeah didn't want to. 
I mean, I could change the model, I guess. Give me a moment. I changed the model. And oh. Excuse me. There we go. There we go. Hi. Hello, hello. Let me just edit this. Uh, this one should be B in L two D. Yeah. It's a B in L two D. Go. B in L two D. Hey, can me. Oh my gosh! Look at Lord Chai. He's so handsome. Anyway, um, let's go. Let's go to Pinacone. Oh gosh, what, 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 okay, 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 okay. We gotta make, uh, wait. Okay, let's just go. Yay, let's go. You're continuing, uh, the, uh, the looking for ingredients part of it, I think. Where were we? Uh, okay, we're supposed to like look for ingredients like here. Oh, oh, I see something. これがカクテルに使えるかな。あれ、下に目のが挟まってる。大切なものとの交換が必要だって。何？何かどうして交換しろってこと？でも何と交換すれば。What should we give our stuff to? Uh, what should we exchange? Um, give a bag. A uh, give praise of high morals. Give fifty thousand credits. Give a bag of trash. I think I'll give a bag of trash. You can't just throw trash. Oh no. Oh no. Are we, are we gonna get something edible with trash? Bright future. Okay, that's fine. I guess. Um, we're fine. We're good. We're good. Uh. Let's see. What was this? Kokoa chip ga ippai chirabatte ne. Chips? Nan ni chikamae, Iris ke na yakusha ga kite shibon to momitan da. Sono toki ni otoshita mono da na. So enemies go chop kompon. It's even in a dream. <laughs> Help! They drop go coins. <laughs> I have cheese bread here. I'm gonna have some. Esta. Mmm, bread. Sorry, I'm just asking you to tell me. Ma, you may not be able to eat the drink or the drink. I'm eating bread, guys. In case you're wondering what that noise is about. In case you're wondering what that noise is about. Okay. High sticks. Hmm. Interesting. What's that? Himeko. Himeko just sitting there. Slada da. Ano ne san. Slada wa utte nai te itte na kotto. Slada. Utte mi yo. Um. Tan san mo nuke te. Are you playing right now? Um. Until the part where we meet Gallagher and he's like, um, I'll make you a drink, but give get me some ingredients. So basically, Aventurine already did some questioning, but his point of view has ended. So we are back again with Trailblazer. Hmm? Don't, it's no good for our drink if all shaken up. Yeah, don't shake it. <gasps> Mm -hmm. 
おひめこあるような飲み物を注文したらつまらないでしょ私がコーヒーを入れる時も同じようなことを考えるわ So she believes her coffee is better than anyone else. Oh god. Himiko's coffee can kill, by the way. <laughs> Classic so good. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, 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 who's there? Coffee? Her coffee is dangerous, rabbit. あんたの提案に興味はないのでもあなたには才能があるきっとみんなの注目を浴びれるわあなたはアイリスのステージに立つために生まれてきた人フィルビンスカウトれた場所でくすぶってるべきじゃない一緒に行きましょう私たちならきっとピノコにいて最も注目されるスターになれる無境の隅々まで光で照らすのよお願いしもあなたが必要なの見ての通り今はお客さんの相手をしてるの何度も同じことを言わせないで分かった首を縦に振らないなら私もどこにも行かないわ She's so pretty though Look at your bun It's just so pretty Look at this bang lady 氷をたくさん入れてねちょっと待ってなさいどうしようあの人にカウンターを占領されたら事件について話せなくなっちゃう、はあ、さっき使ったクロックトリックもう一度やってもらっていい Even you, Himeko, you want to take advantage of these people? 時間がないの急いでちょうだいうん、任せたからね Oh no! これ、we gotta use we gotta use it on her、um... あなたが死亡のお客さんね何かよ私を帰らせようとしても無駄よ。彼女が私のお願いを聞いてくれない限り。一体どうしてどうして彼女はここから離れようとしないのこんなさびれてボロボロのバーなのに Hmm, he's calm. Hmm, we can make her sad. Make her sad. Oh, Kashi, to a mode show. What does that no jin say? What hey, go say, what had to do? No, no. それでも彼女を諦められずにいるなんて。私は臆病で、弱虫で、光り輝く場所に憧れているのに。Oh no, Amiki, that is very, that is very straight of you. That is very straight of you, Amiki. 私には彼女の導きが必要なの。私だけじゃ何もできないから。何もできないから。死亡の過去を知らないでしょう。彼女が。どんなに輝いていたかスーパースターがひしめくアイリスケでもスーパースター分かってるわシボン私が彼女の名声を借りて売れたがってると思ってることくらいでも私はただ彼女をあの場所に戻してあげたいだけなのスーパーリクレイマープレイス Are you sure? An inexplicable mix of bitterness and sweetness that permeates the air. The next moment, your emotions turn to a liquid. What? Eternal endurance. I see, okay. Okay, okay so if it's not that, if it's not sadness, then. Happiness? シボンが一緒のステージに立つ瞬間が見えたわシボン観客たちは拍手していて歓声が大波みたいに押し寄せてくるゆったりとしたメロディーが響き渡りカラフルな紙吹雪が肩に落ちるあたりにはアイリスの香りが漂っていて
That delusional girl? Girl, I'm sorry, you're kind of delusional, you know? ね、乾杯しない。聞き上手な見知らぬお客さん。この手の届かない夢の前祝いってことで。Hmm, pick up white grape soda. Mada inakunariso ni naina. Moikaya. Pick at you! Oh no! It's pick at you! No! Demirishka naika. Okay, so it's the wrong one. Itai doste? So we have to make her angry then. Yeah, we have to make her angry.全部アイリスケのせいよ。アイリスケの人たちが死亡を追い詰めたから彼女はここに隠れてモンスターバーを開くしかなくなった。何もかも策略と陰謀のせい。うん。それじゃあ、the Yes, just leave. Woman, just leave. Holy shit. I knew you were to leave. Gallagher talking in the back, guys. You see him? He's like in the back. キリシタよな泣きたいよなもしかしたらどこかで考え直すべきなのかもしれないわね私にとって死亡が何を意味するのかシボンこれは飲み物だよ彼女に渡しておいて私はもう行くわそれじゃあねもう一回もう一回もう
catch this stupid board. I was like, I heard the ting ling 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 ling. Yeah, I think I already like picked up everything I can. So let's go. John make us. Let's make us the drink. Are you going to eat? Cocktail is a clever way. Oh, my God, more of that. Yeah, I'm not going to eat. 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 どの材料をベースにしたい Which one is the base? Um, fermented sour bitter. I think dream syrup would be a nice base. ピノコニジュを探してもこれより余ったるい飲み物は見つからないだろうな。Let's go. だが今の夢追い人はこれが好きらしい。ベースを選んだら次は副材料だなこいつはベースと不思議な化学反応を引き起こすんだ Do a j u m るのはダメだが忘れられない味覚体験をもたらすものである必要があるどの材料を使いたい a j u n t あーおとんフライフューチャー High stakes, I guess. This one, <coughs> sorry, this one seems a bit exciting. Let's go. The most pungent. Oh no. Mihail. Mihail. Oh no. 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 だが俺はその晩のピノコニーがこの匂いを放っていることに気がついたんだミハイルミハイルこれでいいな次は飾りを選んでくれどんなスタイルが好きだおおデコレーションあーストローズ with concentric circles that sounds fun let's go どうしんやお前が初心を忘れないように願おう。Oh, may you always remember when you started? Oh, that was quick. Oh, wow. この夢の中の夢でお前に敬意をした。Oh, this is beautiful. 目覚めしも。自らの墓を掘った先輩たちに乾杯。Two or four bears with that their own grace. やるじゃないギャラが。腕はなまってないみたいだね。ふん。お前ら。満足してもらえたかこの味スラーダよりずっと複雑だね豊かな味わいで何十にも広がっていくまさに傑作ね特に副材料の扱いが素晴らしいわ何か特別な風味が感じられる辛くて Ooh, spicy and sour notes with a hint of sweetness. Wow. これが何を意味するのかはわからないけど、ギャラガーは自分のコンセプトを説明してくれるのかしら？残念だが、もし深い答えを期待しているなら、がっかりすることになるぞ。それの持つイメージはとてもシンプルだ。それは美しい夢の本当の味。それ以上のものはない。A taste of this beautiful dream? Oh. Mihail. Mihail. I heard his name in my dream. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Who's Mihail? Yeah, I know a lot. やっぱり俺の目に狂いはなかったようだ。これで正直に話さない理由もなくなった。お、oh? 事件について話そう。もちろん、そのミハイルに関する話もついでにな。Oh! We get to learn more? 
結論から言おうファミリーが持っている手がかりによればそのホタルって女の子は地元の人間でも正体を知ってもないつまり、yeah. 彼女は正真正銘の密告者だった、yeah. 俺も彼女に騙された本当に年を取ったもんだな、mm? だが宴の星では密告はそれほど珍しいことじゃないし操作も難しくはない。Are you sure you don't let her get away on purpose? ハウンドたちはすぐに行動を起こし、無教と現実世界の両方から追跡を開始した。ところが結果は悪い知らせが一つ舞い込んできただけだった。しかも、とんでもなく悩ましい知らせかな。その子は突然と姿を消したんだ。Wait, vanished? の中には何の痕跡も残ってない。現実世界でも一向に体が見つからないまるで最初からピノコニーに来ていなかったかのようにえそれってつまり Is she a ghost? Yeah, is, is Firefly a ghost? <笑>いい例えだなうん今のは例えだよなはっきり言うが彼女の状況はお前らは愚かハウンドキリ。Oh my god, guys, do you see this? I you see, that's a paw print. It's like a paw print, a dog paw. ピノコニーには確かに死が存在するってこと見られた以上、もう隠す必要もないな。街には華やかな一面もあれば、人には言えないような裏の面もあるってこと。大人の世界のことは詳しく説明するまでもないだろう。So death has happened before. ファミリーに疑いをかけるのは単純すぎる。夢の中にも予期せぬ死はあるが、それがどうした。So、death そんな極めて大切なことで起こる事件が影響するのは、ごく少数の人間に限られて。Gallagher sounds like Suabe sometimes, even though I know he isn't. He has that feel, but his voice is distinctively not Suabe. So, let's go. So, let's go. Mihail, let's go. So, let's go. 請求列車もあのオルゴールを受け取ったんだろう中にどんな秘密が隠されてるか知ってるか夢の中で不可能を見届けピノコニーの父時計屋の遺産を探し出し生命体はなぜ眠るのかという問いにお答えくださいというメッセージがあったわ Why does life slumber? <笑>一文字も間違ってないなちょっと何笑ってまさかあんたが書いたのなかなか文才あるんだね。Did you write it? 俺は事件を捜査してる保安官だぞ。知らないわけがないだろう。お前らだって、このメッセージがファミリーから出されたものじゃないことに。もっと言えば、Oh, it's not from the family! の要項ではないことに気づいてるんじゃないか。I may have like lost track of it. 正直の息を出ないけど、正直、ピノコニーの父が、実質的な管理者と、そこまで折り合いが悪いだなんて信じがたいものそうかなら教えてやろうその推測は正しいファミリーはずっと前から時計屋を敵視していたが彼は寝室鬼没でハウンドたちもなかなか捕まえられずにいたんだおお、oh, so、they see him as an enemy まるで自分が作り上げた商業神話の中にしか存在しない人物かのようだったそこでさらに聞きたい。時計屋は外の世界にそういう冗談めいた情報を流して、あんたらを招き。ああ、それを。You know he's Hila Monster because he's Ada Lon 150% effect resist. Wait, seriously? That sounds like a monster. I mean, all my resources are going to Lord Chai at the moment, but I will consider him like my next healer. I will consider him like my next healer. I will consider him like my next healer. あんたらにいろいろと隠し事をしていたのかもわかるだろうそれは時計屋は夢の地の伝説なんかじゃなくピノコニーの文化史上最大の汚点であり He's the most shameful stain in the history of Pinnacony? ピノコニー I think it's ピノコニー not Pinnacony but I'm gonna call it だよまだわからないか俺が言いたいのは He's like a light launcher Okay. The betrayer of the family? He's the watchmaker?
We are here. Entertainment Center, let's go. あ、よし、バトゥ。お前からしたらここは遊び場かもしれないが、俺の目には韓国に見える。この星の過去を閉じ込めるためのな。ピノコニーが昔カンパニーの監獄生だったことは知ってるだろう。囚人たちはここ。
Huh? <laughs> well, but that's what I meant. Wait, but why was it capitalized? Why was it capitalized? I don't think it's as simple. It's not as simple as we think it is. Mm. I feel like it's more than that. You can't just say 13 as in he is literally 13 years old, you know? I feel like it's it it has another meaning towards it. Guys, did you know that the 13th card in the tarot is the death card? It's the death card? Shall I repeat that? Th number 13 is the death card? <laughs> Yeah, just saying. I don't know. I, I genuinely don't know. Foreshadowing? I don't know anything! I don't know. He's 13 with a straight face. Or just like, what? He's just like, yeah, I'm 13. Anyways. <laughs> uh -uh. I think Sage also mentioned his current intro. Hmm. His children! Ch quote unquote children? He's like quote unquote children. He's a clone. He's a what? He's a whatever. What are you doing? I did nothing, and that's the worst betrayal of all. Oh Oh no! Sunday, what did you do, Sunday? Me hide what Sunday. Sunday, what Ooh, this is so complicated. Oh, this is complicated. Oh,ですそう、コンプリケーテッド。like a lost dog. Oh no! ファミリーは再び俺を受け入れ、保安官の仕事を与えてくれた。表向きは許されているが、実際のところ、これは罰だ。それ以来、俺は仲間、そして俺の過去と完全に決別した。そして未来は。彼は誰にも気づかれない。誰にも見つからない場所で死んだらしい。それを聞いた瞬間、彼は二度と。とても気の毒な話だと思うけど、ことはそれほど単純ではないんでしょう。うん。どうやら時計屋の名を継ぎ
、うん、今ピノコニーから門前払いを食らってる密航者たちと数個白気前に開拓者として称えられた夢追い人たち Anyway, Gallagher's, Gallagher's butt looks so good Anyway, hey, Gallagher's、uh, mm, His butt Yum <coughs> Who doesn't have a troubled past? Who's t h a t the family isn't all united? Gallagher's butt looks so good Anyway, hey, Gallagher's そしてその人物はオーク家の中に潜んでいる可能性が高いわ。それもこれまでに集めた情報と辻褄が合うわね。ホタルはその遺産のために今回の惨劇に巻き込まれた。これで確信が持てたわ。アベンチュリーさんが読みを犯人扱いしたのはそもそも何の根拠もないことだったのね。Hockey is based on a watchmaker. A t i f i s h bottle, damn nice bottle. Thank you. Isn't she cute? She's so adorable. <laughs> really into Hockey. Anthony's got me and I to you, Krokovo, you k i n i n a r u n e Zanen Nagara, a day like Karen, you are at a night. Yeah, where is Hockey anyway? Where is Hockey? Koremade Nitata, Suisoko, Kensho Dictama. Demo, Moto Yok Kangai, Rishio, Gariso. ベルトにメッセージを送って向こうの状況を聞いてみましょう。ミサイル、ウェルドとウェルド。ミスター・ヤン、アインベスティケーションが始まったので、ハウスプログレスが終わったので、ハウスプログレスが終わったので、ハウスプログレスが終わったので、ハウスプログレスが終わったので、ハウスプログレスが終わったので、ハウスプログレスが終わったので、ハウスプログレスが終わったので、ハウスプログレスが終わったので、ハウスプログレスが終わったので、ハウスプログレ Don't worry, please wait for a while. I'll keep you posted as soon as I find anything. Okay, are we gonna switch? Acheron's POV! You, you read Acheron's POV! Oh? Oh, oh, now it's their turn to go into d u e l i g h t Pavilion. これまでの道のりは順調だったというより順調すぎた警備が厳重なファミリーの拠点とは思えない This is very sussy Oh my god we get to play as Acheron Okay, let's just go. Ah, me, t o f o I see enemies. I see enemies. Kore Hodo Ripana Yashkina, Kakujin or Motelas, Shizimo in Aitoa. Abuser skill, oh no. <laughs> yeah, I'll use her skill. なかの様子を探るしかなさそうだな。慎重に前に進もう。待て。待て。待て。シロ。自分の気配を少し薄めた。これで見つかりにくくなったはずだ。お。請求列車は。ファミリーの指示で動いているから。言い訳もできるが。なるほど。面白い。So he's like... She's like, I will become、uh, basically invisible. During exploration, using Atron's technique to attack normal enemies will instantly defeat them without entering combat. Ooh, powerful. When not hitting enemies, no technique points are consumed. Okay, we got. <laughs> Oh, damn, amazing. OP, that's so OP. I know how can you run a 
I swear to God, if we have to do that model thing again. ほほほ。どうて、something Looking at like footprints. Oh my gosh, that's so OP. アベンチュリーさんだろう。アベンチュリー。いつなら why is this so extra? Holy shit, that's so extra. いいね。いいね、いいね、いいね。オッケー。人の気配はないが。Oh, oh, oh, sorry. Oh, the music is so nice. Okay, good. They're strong. Monster no Karadakara Nanika Ochazo. Korea Memo Asatsuino Yakatano Shion in Tajua. Okano Shigoto, Warifurate Tayodana. So stay. So they were Robin Sanga Shinori before Robin's death. Oak no Hitori to Sir Sagio Kamoshina. Totoeva Chowa ceremony to Ka. Charmony Festival? リクスで言えばどれほど重要な任務であろうとファミリー以外立ち入り禁止の場所なら人を残して待機させておくべきじゃないかつまり誰かが意図的に彼らを遠ざけたと言いたいのかうんあただその理由はわからない damn Is that a trash can? A lordly trash can. It's a lordly trash can. Uh, bring the guest to the destination. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, not this stupid. Hey! Oh, that's. That's Lorcha's first time in action. Adventure, not adventuring. Acheron is dead. Um, yeah. So we have a problem. Acheron is down. Uh, so is Lodge. <laughs>
No, 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 no. I will not fall to you. Oh my gosh. Everyone's on life support. Everyone's on freaking. Everyone's on like life, like life support. Holy shit! I want to get a chest. Ah, we need to go here. We need to go here. Help! What a god! <laughs> we were on life support. We were on freaking life support because we were, because. <laughs> Help me! GG easy, GG easy. We had no problems at all, guys. Absolutely no problems. This is fine. I'm fine. We're fine. Everyone's fine. <laughs> um, but we need to balance out this team a bit, I think. Uh, I think we need to balance out this team a little. Just a little bit. We need to balance out this team uh, a little. Let me swap out Sparkle with like. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> help! 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 We need to like. We need. We need protection, man. Hmm.誰もいないなら勝手にさせてもらおう。できるだけ私に近づいてくれ。そうすれば、あな。Okay. Uh. We have a chest. Yum yum. Okay. <clears throat> okay, let's go. A letter from Robin. How are you doing, dear brother? How are you doing these days? I had intended to visit you at Dewlight Pavilion as soon as possible upon my return. But with the approaching Charmony Festival and your busy schedule, I refrain from troubling you. However, an urgent matter compels me to share something with you immediately. Since my change to Pinaconi, Pinaconi, I have experienced a peculiar change in my voice. At first, I thought it was caused by exhaustion or illness, but after consulting with doctors, they assured me of my perfect health and dismissed my concerns. However, my voice worsened over time, and I even experienced periods of complete voice loss. In order to find answers, I conducted many private investigations. Using my idle time out of rehearsals, of course, eventually I realized that the harmony in Pinaconi is not pure. A discord lurking within has tainted my voice of harmony, which I believe to be the root cause of my vocal issues. I immediately realized that such levels of interference can only occur if either a powerful external force is pulling the strings or if a senior member of the family is involved. Unfortunately, further investigation has led me to the latter conclusion. This is an extremely alarming discovery. A traitor has emerged within the family in Pinaconi, and it is highly likely that this person is one of the four family heads. I trust you implicitly, dear brother, because of our promise. With the Charmony Festival on the horizon, I fear this person intends to impede his progress or even use the festival for some ulterior motive. At any rate, I suggest you monitor the other family heads while also prioritizing your own safety. You are the only true family member I have left. There is another matter that requires our attention. During my investigation, I learned about the memory zone meme death, and my further inquiries led me to believe that the culprit who directed it to cause this series of incidents is likely the aforementioned traitor in the family. I've collected more clues and am prepared to verify my hypothesis. Rest assured, you can just focus on the, pre on the preparations for the Charmony Festival. Once I've thoroughly investigated death, I'll come and meet you immediately. It won't take long. Given your heavy workload, please take care of yourself. Don't stay in the dreamscape all the time. Spend some time in reality when you are free. I've brought some more specialties from other galaxies. Giant moa pudding tarts from Morlons. Wild strawberries from Akonyaku, known for the exceptional size and sweetness, which I'm certain you enjoy. And almond meringue cream cracknels from Medicia. Don't forget to enjoy them. May si Shipe? Shipe? Be with us, your sister Robin. レッシャの それはつまり… <laughs> Excuse me. 
高い地位にいるか計り知れない力を持っているということだおほほうそれもサンデーさんが裏切り者を捕まえられずにいる理由かもしれないなうん。OK。Please don't make me read out more stuff. I'm gonna perish. Oh god! <laughs> okay. A list of deaths, victims. In Sorol, a male Halovian was dragged into the sea by an unknown meme while sunbathing on the beach in a mo moment of oasis. Subsequent search and rescue operations proved unsuccessful. This was the first case. Can't tell if anything is wrong. Insufficient uh, investigation. Mori, a male from Sienzhou, entered a spheroid in Golden Hour and mysteriously disappeared while the spheroid was bouncing in air. Later examinations showed no signs of forced entry or exit on the spheroid. No, it seems the culprit can ignore physical barriers. Conventional investigation methods feasible? Emaka, a female human, participated in a talent show in the moment of scorched sand but accidentally fell off the stage before the judges turned around and disappeared in the shadows below. The footage for that episode of the show has been deleted. The culprit is swift and skilled at disguises. Caution is advised. Weber, a male pepeshi, fell down when entering his office on payday in Gilded Hour and was killed by an unknown meme that suddenly appeared. The memories of witnesses have been processed. Preferring to attack wounded or vulnerable individuals? Uncertain. Maybe taking orders from someone else. Shemet, a male pepeshi, was taken away while flipping over a card at the casino in a moment of stars. The casino staff has dealt with the aftermath of the incident. Flipping a card. Interesting. <clears throat> Dekim, a male human, jumped into the ocean of dream bubbles in Blue Hour in an attempt to impress his girlfriend, but it got entangled by an unknown meme under the sea and drowned. His girlfriend's memories have been processed, but the outcomes are not satisfactory. Further intervention from motivators may be necessary. Most cases are related to the ocean. Could this be a breakthrough? Additional note, scratch that, after checking, only two cases were related to the ocean. Taixia, a female Foxian was engulfed by an unknown meme while playing dreamy slots in Golden Hour. The incident caused a huge commotion at the spot. The memories of most witnesses have been processed. Could it be the Sweet Dreams troop? Does it have the ability to imitate and learn? Multiple culprits? There's likely a mastermind behind the scenes. Kambega, a male bloodhound, was attacked by an unknown meme before his shift changed in a moment of serenity, resulting in his death after a fight. Security measures have been enhanced in the prison area. Note, no notable details on this case. Need to ask the Bloodhound family to strengthen defenses in the prison and other facilities. Janet, a female human, disappeared while visiting the film, the film history gallery at the museum in a moment of soul. She was drawn towards a mysterious sound calling to her and walked into a screen, vanishing without a trace. The sight has been cordoned off. Note, this is the only case where the culprit demonstrated speech ability. Further ver verification is required to determine if this is a false claim. Monk, a male Intellitron, was attacked while replacing his newly purchased high-grade vision sensor in the auction at the moment of dusk. Note, vision sensor? Noteworthy. Annette, a female Pepeshi, vanished while touching up her makeup in the bathroom before the graduation ceremony at Paperfold Academy in the moment of soul. She was caught by a meme into a mirror and disappeared, witnessed by a teacher at the scene. Mirror? Note, mirror? Noteworthy. Current hypothesis is related to sight. Chloe, a female Intellidoron, was attacked by a meme and disappeared when she blew out the candles during her birthday celebration with her friends in Blue Hour. Welcome to Sheepton Skippy Jiggles. Welcome. All witnesses are currently receiving treatment from motivators. Note, more attacks occurred in dark or dim environments. Is sight really a trigger? Carissa, a female Halovian, was harassed by a fervent fan backstage before a performance in the moment of scorched sand and was subsequently abducted by a meme during her escape. The Bloodhound family has apprehended the fan. Note, abducted? Keep a lookout for this fervent fan. Dorian, a male human, took a nap before the end of his shift in the moment of daybreak without telling his managers and was abducted by an unknown meme hiding under a chair. Emergency intervention was provided and production at the factory has resumed as usual. Note, taking a nap. 
Plus, consider discussing with the alfalfa family about increased vacation time and additional breaks for workers. Okay, now that someone has disappeared, then you want to do this. But okay, fine. Better late than never. Marlo, a male human, disappeared after being involved in a car accident in Golden Hour. Witnesses reported the presence of an eerie meme who fled underground at the scene of the incident, of the accident. Note, this is a genuine case of death. The meme must be connected to concepts such as death and murder. Uh, this list comprises over 100 cases relate related to the memory zone meme death. However, the author of the list seems to still struggle with figuring out the pattern. Robin, they just perish, you know? I live. どうやら噂は正しかったようだ。死は無作為に被害者を選んでいる。そしてサンデーさんのコメントを見るに彼は死のことをよく知っているらしい。彼はただそれが再び現れたことに驚いているんだろう。うん。うん。いや、エストリー
Oof. Oh, Jesus! I will not read this. I will read this on my own. This one there, Informer Robin. Da, 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 da. Excuse me. You now hold a position of the only elder brother. Also hit. Hatred. Wait. Dedicate. Connected. Long before the Dream Master adopted you and your sister, huh? So they're adopted. The Charmini Festival is on the... From Alfalfa. Watchmaker many times. Dominicus's arrival is delayed. Old OT. Oopsie. Ooh. As in, like, I'm not reading it out. I'm reading it myself. ピノコニーの夢のある字もこの王子さんも最近の三年さんの行動に不満を抱いていたようだ。彼らは死をあまり気にしていない。むしろ調和セレモニーと時計屋の方を気にしている。他の当主は死を大した問題だとは思ってない
彼は町中でお金をばらまきながら、一人でクラークフィルムランドに向かっている。He's in the theme park? Oh no! ファミリーは今でも人々の安全を守るため全力を尽くしていますが、皆さんもどうか用心してください。Oh no! ファミリーは今でも人々の安全を守るため全力を尽くしていますが、皆さんもどうか用心してください。Oh no! ファミリーは今でも人々の安全を守るため全力を尽くしていますが、皆さんもどうか用心してください。Oh no! ファミリーは今でも人々の安全を守るため全力を尽くしていますが、皆さんもどうか用心してください。Oh no! ファミリーは今でも人々の安全を守るため全力を尽くしていますが、皆さんもどうか用心してください。Oh no! ファミリーは Oh, oh, oh. We're back to e o o k a y Let's go back to the h o s p i かつ第二次カキカエビ菌絶滅事件の生存者の一人であり、生還難民渡航証を所持していませんでした。戦略投資部責任者ダイヤモンドの指示のもと、カンパニーは検証の精神に基づき、容疑者に対して適切な対応を取り、引き続き調査を行い、その犯行動機を明らかにするとのことです。おお。よう、ジェイ教えて。それは夜になると。Oh、my gosh, it's another mommy! Hello, mommy! Hi, hi! はい、はい。とっくに売り払ってるだろうね。<笑>あなたの目が永遠に閉じられることを。Uncle Fate, if, if Jay comes out, you're gonna E6S5 her. I'm so sure of it. Oh my god. どれのあなたは No, 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 what? Ah, Kana, what? Ah, Kana, what? Ah, Kana, what? Ah, Kana, what? You killed your master. Amazing. Ah, Kana, what? 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 Ah, Kana, I knew she was chicken. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. In addition to the mono quantum girl, girl group. Kimi Tachi was a complex Kenzai of Hoshigatta. So she was a little bit of a girl. 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 あらゆるものを掘り出せただろう。砂の王の残骸すらもね。君たちは運が悪かったんだ。テズテズロン？テズロン。でも私が興味を持っているのはこれほど大規模な。チェイナのに。It reminds me of Prisoner from the Identity Five, like Luca Balsa. He too had something around his neck. Ready? Ready? 自分の欲しいものをとっくに手に入れてる。君の前に連れてこられ、次の大きな賭けに出るというシチュエーション。He's addicted to gambling, guys. <笑>なら、この二回目の大爆地について話しましょう。Oh. 教えて。今回は何をかけるつもりなの？僕の命だ。<gasps> I'll bet my life. <gasps> oh my god. Kamikoto. I already knew that. But thank you, Lamao. So I want more. So I want more. でも残念
Oh, you want to meet Diamond? Damn. Look at that jade necklace on her neck. Ah, beautiful. That jade necklace. Are you sure look at the necklace? Of course I am. Definitely not what's below it, you know? You know who has nicer badonkas? Me. I have nicer badonkas. That's why. You have nice badonkas? You have nicer badonkas than her? Oof. She really went, okay, we'll adopt you. She's like, we will adopt you. <laughs> oh. Can she adopt me too? I want... Hey, out of the way, get in the back of the line. I want her to adopt me first, okay? I've never lost. I've never lost. ちぼしんは僕を見守っているはずだ。そして僕は必ず成功する。ヘイ、サクセスイズイナビティブル。その後は数え切れないほどのチップを手に入れるのかそれとも一回の失敗で全てを失う Oh no! No no no! Please come back adventuring, please! So what's going on? Oh! Oh my god! Oh! It's him! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! He has an evil he has an evil twin. Moi Boka Kurutter no come sit and I get a baka janai. Boku no atamakara teteke. Cho wano shin seji. Oh, newborn of the harmony. Oh, it's not the first time we've met. だからここに来たんだろう。おまいがい。盛大な賞なんて本当に自分にできると思ってるのかい。どういう意味だ。君は全ての人を騙せるかもしれないけど、自分自身だけは騙せない。
You can't fool yourself, huh? Let's have a heart to heart. Oh no. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> I am the outcome. I am your future. Oh, huh? oh, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 that's young him! Wait, can I like like kid all these? No, I cannot. It's a small him? Oh shit, sorry. <gasps> <gasps> He's seeing things. He's seeing things. He's already seeing things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's seeing things. He's seeing things. He's like, oh my god, oh god. お父さんとお母さんはこの遊園地にいるよ。先に入っちゃったからこれから探しに行くところなんだ。僕もう行かないと。じゃあねお兄さん。お兄さんも楽しんでね。あのね。それに。まあ。Oh no. Yeah. Wait, catch up, young elf. You are trans by uh, just who is he? This dude, maybe catch up. Oh no! Oh no! Look at all of this! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh! It, it cannot be. There aren't any Afghans left. <gasps> oh no. Let's say soon. Oh boy. Are we like You know not let's just let's just go with this. Uh pew! Okay, bye Kamikoto. Ling 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 ling. You just check it out each part, okay? I'll check it out each part. Boom! Tick tick! Tick tick! Tick tick! <laughs> it rude! Oh, 
おーティックシエルベビーフーフあの目それにマザーフェンゴいやありえない I'm just、um, fixing these as I go along I'm doing these puzzles Mm -hmm. Oh, somehow it worked out. Yeah, somehow it worked out. Yeah, let's go, baby. Free dates, free dates. Especially fun of what you and he have in common. Okay, sure, that is a very, like, you know? The relationship is obviously very, very straight, guys. It's very straight. Another trap. Uptight, overcautious, massive, inferiority complex. Ooh. Oh no! His fear! He got an invite by the mask fools? Stop fooling the audience, you fool yourself too. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, so he had a chance to become like Sparkle's homie. <gasps> Damn. You chose the company instead. Hey, the IPC. 
燃えないやーインカムインカムウィッドプレザーベーションアイムインカムウィッドプレザーベーションアイムインカムウィッドプレザーベーションアイムインカムウィッドプレザーベーでも今から消えるのは一体誰だろう<笑> Who is a c l a s about to disappear? Oh my god! <笑>とにかく僕じゃない Oh my god Oh I heard something I heard something Wait, I heard. Oh, oh, chest. Oh my gosh. Follow the kid. Oh, God. Hey. Oh, this is gonna be a pain in the ass. We have to do this. Ah, fine. Pew, 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 pew. Hi, Dine. Hello. How are teachers are going? Um, it seems to be going fine as far as I can see, but I'm just, I'm still like, uh. Hopefully, we'll do okay. Man, look at that fat shield. Stick with the double C shield. Tick tick. It's like a menacing tick tick. No, it's not there. Battle two. Oh my gosh, that fat ass shield. Oh my god. Look! Look at that. That was insane. Insane. Okay. I kind of want to fight him. <laughs> fight everyone! Fight everyone! Get all of like the ingredients and the stuff. Will you be pulling for him? I'll have to think about it because um I'm eyeing I'm eyeing the uh, Jing Liu rerun. I'm eyeing the Jing Liu rerun. So I'm like uh, I have to think about it. Mm. Aventurine is indeed very, very hot. He is indeed very hot. Mm -hmm. Not in the super manly way, but in the pretty boy way, you know? Welcome to Sheepton Story Night. Welcome. <laughs> Can't wait to pull in for my Archeron. Hey, if he, if he benefits your Archeron, it's fine. Yeah. Oh. 
I ran to the noses of those savages on I've always kept it. <gasps> Is LC debuff and every follow up his ultimate debuff too? Ooh. Is that the sound of rain? I feel like I hear rain. Damn. So are you going to E6S5 him for your E6S5 Archeron fate? Only the best for Archeron, right? No, no! <laughs> I thought E6 dudes. Ah, what a shame. That's a huge shame. Why are there so many borps here? Yank? Yank, yank. Only mommy. Yet, you didn't do it for Kafka. I know you say you didn't like her playstyle, but at the same time... At the same time, she is a mommy who didn't E6. Oh, oh, there's, there's a description. Oh. When I and seek Jim and find the Afghan for your unable to uncover your past, you are unable. Oh, good, 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 good. oh my god. In the tarnation, is there? Can we beat this guy? I feel like we can beat this guy. He just gotta. Let's. Beat this guy! Beat this guy! Revenge is an advantage? Yeah, why not? Shrooing! Beat, beat, beat! Beat him up! Here you go, Sparkle. Congrats, thank you. I've actually had Sparkle for a while. The new edition is actually Luo Cha. Yeah. He's the newest one. Luo Cha. Luo Cha. I'm just here like... I do not... I, I'm... I'm telling myself, I do not need Archeron. 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 I wish his ultimate voice line is all or nothing. That would be so cool, right? Voice line be like, all oh, or nothing! Uh, 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 adventuring, adventuring, my paper health Daniel needs need your seal. Please, please, please protect the paper health Daniel. Please. It's gonna be oh no Acheron get going to adventure in by the way. I really want to venture in the moment I saw him I was like <gasps> I want him because I love his Seiyu. His Seiyu is like one of my favorites. Yeah, oh thank god! <laughs> thank god Lord Chuck came in clutch! Ah! <laughs> I always use the Acheron as support. She's like a Calyx clearer. Adventure is so broken. Adventurine is like shoom fat shield. Look at how fat his shield is. So bad that he's saying all of something, but I don't know if he's saying all or nothing. So bad that. Push. Go, Daniel, go. Go, Daniel, go. 
Man, Locha came in clutch, man. I was so... I was so scared. I was so scared. I was like, oh no, paper health, then paper, 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 paper. And then, and then he's like, boy, done. <laughs> yes, we did it! The pre nerf adventure is even more broken. Oh no. Okay, what is this? Crit damage. Ooh, oh, this one looks good. Oh, oh, oh. So sad they nerfed it. He too, he too broken, baby. Damn, this good. Is that good? Obtain everything or lose everything? <laughs> ah, I see. Oh, that's a good piece. We gotta beat these dudes up, right? Uh, do I have anyone? But Hanabi can just like. No, no, no. Sorry, buddy. Is that a good piece? Well, we'll take... We'll, we'll see how it goes. His previous version is literally shield every turn. That's so broken! Oh my gosh! That's beyond an upgrade from Gephi. That's just flat out. I'm not gonna let you die. I think that would have to be locked behind his E6S5. No, it was E1. That's why he had to be nerfed! That's why he had to be nerfed, homie. He just do his... Finger snap, baby. He does his finger snapping. Almost at full stacks, almost at full stacks. Whew. There we go. Small sheep almost wanted to come in. He chose not to come in. Where? You wanna come in? We were once, what? Sorry? Hi darling, I'll try not to be so loud, okay? Go sleep, go sleep. Go, hey, go sleep. Go, go, go. go sleep. <laughs> Hi guys, small sheep is in the room with us. <laughs> He's doing the snooze under my table. I love his finger snap. It is indeed one of his best features. Wait, oh. <gasps> it's Topaz! The triplet Shibas unite. Shh. I mean, guess. Oh no! So smug. Hollow Ventrine is so smug. It's nothing but a death rattle. <laughs> It's the same as the radiance of Klipov's body, what the hell? Okay. 
Wait, was that part of his plan? Hello! Hello, Hazel! Welcome! Welcome! Hi! Thanks for the raid! Hello! You're playing Honkai Star! Oh my god, that's amazing! How was it? How was it? Hope you guys have been having a better time than me. I've just been like... <gasps> yes. But hi! Welcome! I'm Yuri Shiba, Shiba VTuber. I am enjoying Honkai Star Rail being a fairly baby player here. But I'm enjoying the ride. So, yeah. So there, 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 there we go. Mm. Sometimes I do tarot reading. Like I did it a bit earlier in the stream. And then I change over to like Honkai Star Rail. But yeah. I do all sorts of fun things. Ayy. Welcome in any case, welcome. If you'd like to um, go to rest, Hazel, uh, then feel free to. If you want to hang around and lurk, feel free to as well. You're welcome, guys. You're welcome. Yay. <laughs> it's been wonderful. That's wonderful. Yay. Ay. Rachel's betrayal was one part of his plan. I I don't know, man. Adventure and won't tell anyone his stuff. He was acting at all. Oof. I'm baby player too, cause I'm using mommy only. You shut up, Faye. You got E6S5 several. I... I... <sighs> I will stay to watch, but you're doing the Honkai story and with me. I see. No problem. No problem. Go... Um... No, no problem. Go rest. And hopefully I'll see you some other time. You know? When you like, uh... Watch... When, when you've gone through the story, then maybe we could be on the same page. Hi, I saw your name earlier today and got reminded of my familiar Shiba. Oh, So I thought Shiba and Shiba could meet. <gasps> yes! And my, my familiar Shiba, my boy. He's um he's a medium milky 50% sugar. Let's I said pros. Isn't he beautiful? I love him so much. I know. A lot of people like to make fun of his name. But I think that's just rude. He has a beautiful name, okay? He has a beautiful name. Sunday with a ribbon. Oh shit. He does have a ribbon. <laughs> Oh, Sunday day not become the head of the whole family. I think Sloppy is obsessed with control. Oh, damn. Wait, what's that? His name? Yeah, his name is Medium Milk T50% Sugar Less as at Pearls. He's got paws of steel. He does. It was all part of his plan? Holding himself on the Boba Cup. Oh, I mean, I love the uniqueness in the name. You're about to say something I don't like, aren't you? <laughs> You're thinking something I don't like. <laughs> yeah, he has a very unique name, indeed. <gasps> the adventuring under Who knows this? <laughs> Every time I say his name somewhere in the universe, a Boba server is making his order. Shh! Do not insult me, they make you 50% sugar less as that pros like that, okay? Do not insult him like that. <gasps> That's the adventuring. I just thought that's the name Shiba would come also come over. Oh, yo, we have a mod named Shiba? That's insane. Adventuring is a beautiful stone though. It means good luck. Just like you're smooth and cunning. Hey. Oh, I see. That's wonderful, Hazel. It's wonderful that you have it. Uh, you have such an interesting lore. <laughs> there is this near Barista I guess the shivers. <laughs> the stone of luck and trickery. It's like, you get the stone, and you get its name too. <gasps> the 
Emerald? Emerald? Is it emerald? Similar to a certain gem. Used as a substitute. Emerald. It's emerald. Jade? Oh shit, no! It's Jade! Shit! Wait, so that's Jade? That's not a Ventrain? <laughs> so that's Jade! That's not a Ventrain? Oh my god! That's their everything! All are nothing. So are three coins. Oh? Oh? Oh my god. Oh? Shall we take a look at the real adventure in stone? <laughs> Please don't tell me you hid it up your ass, adventure in. Please don't. I wouldn't put it past you, but please don't tell me you hid it up your ass. Like, for real, for real. Don't. Don't, okay? Ah, it's so beautiful. It's faceted. <laughs> Where did that idea come from? Huh? Hmm? Huh? Piled up with these cheap baubles. Among his gemstones. You smashed the adventure in stone before you left? Are they? What? Where'd the idea come from? I don't know if you're gonna hide something, sometimes up your ass is a desperate measure, you know what I mean? Shattered? Is it shattered? He broke it? So he broke it. He broke the cornerstone? Oh my gosh. Hi Kafka, hello. Diamond The human back took a stretch out of 7.5 inches. Fate, you see that? Yeah, he broke it. Oof. That's more important than your life and you smashed it to bits. Wait, oh. In a sense, you're very similar to Blade, huh? All or nothing. <laughs> if, imagine Kawanishi can go like just talking to himself for the longest time. It's, uh, Almost two raccoons in your palm, why would you do that? You can do what it takes. <laughs> Ma, sono toki ni nareba wakaru sa. Oh my. Kiga kieta. Mata chowa no genkaku ka. Is it you are something? Entranced by the uh, Evgen boy, just who we see there's still time, maybe we can catch up exactly. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh no, can we like beat this one up? <laughs> 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 
this this one is just resting there and I just beat him up. <laughs> Welcome to Satan Lilo. Welcome. Hi darling. Sorry. I'm sorry I woke you up. Small sheep just moved in displeasure. I'm sorry, I'm a bit noisy. Oh, thick shoot. Thick shoot. Thick shoot. Imagine having lunch break and randomly kick the person. Randomly kick, yeah. I'm just here, like, get your ass up. Over there, find the. Oh, oh. He's right there. He's right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Matatane. Oto Oh, Matatane. Oto it's film, not flim. Film え、じゃない。フィルム映画じゃない。フィルム映画じゃない。そう、それ。たくさんの映画並べられてて動く。スモーリンチュインズ by spending money. No, it's free. Oh. Oh, we have to play? Oh. Plucky's extra hamster ball night. Fast and fury nuts. Click the flip button to dodge obstacles and opponents will dodge right before you're about to crash. Into a roadblock. You trigger turbo dash and experience a short period of invulnerability. Energy can be accumulated by triggering turbo dash and picking out supplies. When energy is full, you enter nutty blitz and experience a long period of invulnerability. The film sync is limited in movie mode. The progress bar below indicates the filming progress. Audience score will be accumulated by conducting turbo dash, picking up supplies, or slamming into opponents or obstacles while invulnerable. Trigger the events above as many times as you can to achieve the target audience score. I'll try, I guess. Okay, just, just, just keep. Ooh. So I just. Then we got it. I see. Go sleep then, Loilu. Go sleep. Pro? Am I really a pro? I just I just play randomly. And I hope you dream beautiful dreams. Have beautiful dreams then. Wait, G? Now has more available activities. Guests are welcome to try them out. Ooh, money! Money! Thank you. Okay, but let's do that at a later time. Ooh, I see something that can be fixed. Let's play.
Hmm. Oh, wow. I didn't do anything. It just went like, oh, yeah, this path works. Oh, made it all. 20. 20 stellar jade. Ready to stop. <gasps> I see something. I'm gonna get this. I love collecting. Uh, I love collecting chests. Oh, there, there. Oh, there, 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 there. What are you waiting for? I don't completely understand, he says. How? Oh. <laughs> it's one of my treats that everybody likes, like precious few of those Lamal. Is that a challenge? Mystery hologram adventuring? <laughs> Was that the sound of like thunder? Wait, something the pinball machine? You are completely entranced by the Afghan boy. Oh no. Oh no. Spoing! There's here is no water, only rock. Rock and no water, only the sandy road. Oof. This maze. I had a ling a ling. Is it the wrong way? Investigate. <gasps> oh no. Is this? These are manacles on you. Ooh. Maybe it's in Baby Talune. Like coin change. Oh no. What did you do? You fought? Oh, he's coping, he's coping. Oh, 
なんだかんだで余計なものを手放そうとしないじゃないかこの美しい夢の中でさえ君は自分の体で死を試す勇気しかない The only thing to allow yourself is death. あの同行者たちは君の切り札となりもっと大きな役割を果たせるはずだったファミリーの汚点だって探せばいくらでも出てくる必要なのは少しの犠牲だけオパールならとっくに解決してるだろうオーフオーパールウーズオーパール残念ながら君は彼には及ばないでも君がそうしていればなな Are you comparing him to Opal? That's rude. Do you want to be a good man? He should be a good man. There's no fair fight, you know? Everyone's trying to win, so they're just going to do whatever they can. ASMR incoming. All the cards on the table just disappear. Excuse you? Water, we should drink. Hi, Tiffany's Rich. Welcome. Thank you so much for the rain. Hello. Were you playing Honkai Star Rail? Of course you were. Of course you were. The monster rock one cannot stop her thing. Hello. Welcome in, Raiders. Hi. How was everything? Well, it seems like everyone around is like, experiencing the story. If you're finished experiencing the story, I'm sure you're having fun of fighting or anything. But either way, welcome, Raiders. My name is Miri Shiba. I'm a Shiba VTuber. I'm pretty new to Honkai Star Rail. So, I've been struggling a bit learning here and there. But nonetheless, I really love it. Sometimes I also do other stuff like tarot readings and things. So if you like that kind of stuff, hey, I'm your, I'm your content creator. But if not, that's fine too. Yay! Yes, I was still finding more gems to pull for Ventrin. Oh my gosh, a Ventrin. Everyone in their grandma wants a Ventrin. Like, I have a viewer. His name is Fate. He wants a Ventrin for his E6 S5 Archeron. And I don't blame him in the slightest, okay? I hear something. I hear the ling 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 ling. I hear a ling ling ling. I hear it. I hear the ling ling ling. How are you doing so far in the game? I think I'm doing great, actually. You're being called out. No, you're just. I'm just telling you. I'm just telling everyone that you're protecting your archer on. Adventure is so beautiful. <laughs> I can. <gasps> What's that? <gasps> oh my god! It's the lucky show! <gasps> Um, what characters do you like? Um, I like my man Tingyuan. I like Blade. I like uh 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 <laughs> white sweat. Adventuring is great. Just saying. Um, they're all beautiful, man. Help me. Oh, uh, why are they all so beautiful? Ah, oh, just so beautiful. Anyway. Mm -hmm. And welcome to Adventure and Appreciation. I'm happy. He is, he is pretty, pretty amazing. 
left us with two pieces of jewelry. Necklace and the lucky charm. Boot Hill? Who the hell is Boot Hill? Don't need him. I mean, I know that he's pretty powerful, but I'm not that interested in Hunt characters. Are you gonna love him? Am I? Really? I look forward to it. I don't know if he's powerful or not, I only look at his artwork. He's okay, I guess. He's not my type. His his um artwork is not my type. But I do I do uh I prefer looking at how practical the character is more than how beautiful they look, so Oh, she had to leave his sister behind. Oh no. Can't wait for Robin. Of course, you can't wait for Robin. She a banging lady. Oh no, Robin, guys. She sings. A small sheep is scratching his ear. My friend's down bad towards him. Is he, is he that hot? I mean. My burp lady. You need the banging lady. He's like, and you are crazy. You're insane. <laughs> Is that Granda's death yourself, Aventurian? You stuck to that start to finish? Oh no. This is Stellaron, Fabulous Robin, two unsolved murders, cryptic messages, head to head with Sunday. What word? What word is it? Death, but who's exactly? Well, no when the dice falls. You never answer my question. Gaia Thora's blessing? <gasps> if you could start over, would you still want that blessing? Failure this. Oh no, no! Don't say that about yourself! Failure is going to be used by the cover for the camera, but it's just in the no! Don't say that to yourself! No! Venturin, don't say that to yourself! Fate deep in the sand.
No. Who's this one? Let's go. I'm gonna Priya no I'm not doing I'm not doing readings anymore. Dream jigsaw, let's go. No rock? Sorry, I didn't see the previous like thing. I think Aventurina can use his defense, right? I don't think he will. <laughs> it will just um stay put until like Is there anything here that I should take note off? Nope, nothing here. No water. I swear to god, can you not do this to me, please? Why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me? He's gone. Please go back to the launcher. Collect it. Teleport. Okay, so I can't do anything here. Not like this, please. Uh, why would you do that? Why would you do that? <sighs> I really dislike the Hanu thing. Taste. 
I don't think I'm too bad at this. Wait, no. I have to do it here. Yeah, here, here, here. We got it! We got it! Who was this? Board. I want to yank it out. I'm going to yank it out. There's another boss hiding behind there. That would be pretty good. I just realized you have like three imaginary on this team. Mm, if we swap Sparkle out with Silver Wolf, that would be pretty strong. But then we also wouldn't have her boost for Imbibito Lune. If it works, it works indeed, huh? If it works, it works. Yeah, the imaginary man team. Imaginary man team. What a gambler. He is such a gambler. Pew. Go adventure in Sparkle one more buffer and in Bibito Lune. Huh. That does indeed sound very interesting. High risk. High return. High risk. High return. Yeah. Or I would just enhance. Let's go. Adventure in Sparkle. One more buffer and in Baby Toluni. Hmm. You know, that sounds pretty good. All quantum are women, all men are imaginary. Except Yukon because all Harmony characters are women. Is that so Gulliver? Interesting. Beat the cook chef, Dino. Beat him up. Beat him up. Beat him the hell up. The fat she will protect us. It's a weird ass pattern. 
I mean, I know the mono quantum ladies, you know, the quantum ladies, yeah. Can't wait for male harmony. I can't wait for Kalos' harmony. Harmony True please. This sounds amazing. It might become a new meta. I really am curious about how the new Trailblazer will turn out. Same, same. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, I am playing on a male Trailblazer. Yeah, I'm as I'm as feminine as it gets, but I chose male Trailblazer from a, a coin flip, so yeah. We're on K-list here, baby. This is gonna take a while. The AI is as at using in Bibitalune. I think it's fine. It will live. I'll just I'll just let the autoplay go, okay? I'm confident they won't die. Locha, locha, please. Oh thank god, yes. Protect the DPS, thank you. Why are you using Bibitalune when you can use Archeron? Okay, you do that then, not me. With Lorcha and Adventuring on the same team, you're basically invincible. Exactly, am I right? I mean, this is a simulated universe. I remember at some point in simulated universes, in Bibitalune, they pa did pass away, so like... Let people enjoy their favorite characters. Yeah, exactly. Let me enjoy my characters. I mean, I got him. I got him more out of necessity than anything else. E two D H I L win. Never. I still haven't found the character that I will E six yet. Not yet. I have yet to find the character that I will E six eventually. <laughs> Oh, oh, can we beat these up? Let's beat these people up. Uh... Uh, let's just go and like... Beat them up! I'm sensitive to the word E6. I wasn't talking about you! Fate, please! You are being called out because you know deep inside that that you have done something. <laughs> Between Bibita and Archeron, I choose neither of them. Uh, they are both very powerful, but like they're not my one true love. Yeah. I assume you're choosing Jing Liu. I'm probably choosing Jing Liu, so I intend to pull for Jing Liu. You can- you should never say no to another DPS, you know? I pulled Sparkle because she was a great part- she would be a great partner to my Inbibitor Lune and I was right. I built her pretty okay, I think. Like, she's good enough for- for most intents and purposes. Tick tick. How's MOC? Actually, I haven't been playing MOC. I haven't gotten like a second good team yet, so it's been a bit of a problem.
No, 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 no. Beat this fella up. Slowly it takes time. Yeah, it takes time to build up two good teams. I'm still building up my second good team. Let's go, Locha! I'm stuck at MLC 10 because my second team ass. I'm sorry, I haven't even got up there. Yeah, maybe I should have a session where I focus on MLC. And we'll see how that goes. Did we lose the sounds? I know, um, adventuring, don't you think now's a good time to start... Yes, yes, like that, yeah, to start shielding everyone. Oh, yeah, what? We should be able to clear the basic Forgotten Hall. I've already cleared Jari Lo. I have not cleared uh, Sienjo yet. I have not cleared Sienjo yet, yeah. Oh, welcome to Sheepdom, Lost Lady. Welcome, I hope you're not so lost after coming here, you know? I shall hate for people to come here and be lost. Hello! I'm still learning how to handle MOC. Yeah, because I have one good team and like the rest of my teams are ass. Menacing tick tick. Maybe <laughs> Fushin rerun ASAP. I need Fushin too. Watashi also need the Fushin. Any fusion like cone? I mean, when she comes around again, you can just get it, yeah. It's baby. Did you have fun? Oh my God. I should build my Clara. My brother has a Clara. My sheep bro has Clara. I don't know if he's planning to build her though. Story time adventure in lore is very pog. Yeah. It's. Oh no, baby Trudy! In this dream... <gasps> Clara OP. Is she really OP? <sighs> Sorry, small sheep. Sorry, I know I'm noisy. Everyone loves it. Why don't you like it? I heard Himeko... I heard Himeko also destroys like pure fiction. Just saying. Himeko, Herta, and everyone. I just got Himeko. He ruined my 50-50, but we, we won't talk about that. Okay, we won't talk about that. Oh, 70 crit, 180 crit damage. Oof. I 
I mean, I don't intend to like pull Clara, yeah. Medit, you're tired. Me and him, no. Like... <laughs> not like this, bro. <laughs> HSR Forever in this dream Those who hurtle towards death Yeah, it's the friend on my friend list that has the E6 uh, in Bibito Luni. Yeah, same friend. Oh, life is the chip. I'm most eager to lay down. Oh. The final sacrifice. Oh no. Boku wa dekiru. Sore mo kanpeki ni ne. Stellaron and an emanator. <gasps> oh man. It started with a death and its curtains will fall on another death? That's why Diamond chose you? Oh. It's not personal. Really? <laughs> What did you suddenly grow conscience? Oh, damn. Hi, welcome, Penguji. Welcome, thank you for the read. Are uh, you guys came in uh, in this very touching moment? I'm just like, oh, Benjamin. Uh. Hello, hello. Welcome, Raiders. I'm your Shiba Shiba VTuber. Uh, pretty new to the HSR scene. So hopefully not gonna die uh, too badly. I also do terror reading from time to time. So yeah, that's kind of what I've been up to uh, these few days. How are you? How was the stream? If you're up to telling me that is, you know. I almost teared up. Oh, I mean, I'm not tearing up, but it's hurting me on the inside. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, if you want to go and rest, feel free to rest. If not, you could hang around. That's fine too. Mm. 
try not to be too loud because my dog was trying to sleep. So let's continue. Kashi's <laughs> face is so beautiful, what the hell? Yeah, no problem. It's also 2 a.m. on my side, by the way. I think we're in the same time zone, but like. I just, I just, it's, it's so beautiful, this story. Oh my gosh, yeah, go sleep, go sleep. Have a good night, I'll, I'll see you next time. Why must it be you? Oh, your luck is built on the pain of someone you love, on the loss of dozens more. Let's check what's on a gift from Gayatra. Oh no. No! What do you mean he's meaningless? What do we do to deserve living in a world like this? Thanks for the good luck, thank you, G. I need it. Holy shit. Oh, that trip was all about. Yeah, that's I know, I know. It's touching, isn't it? Yeah, small sheep is huffing. Say goodbye to the kid. It's best to die without regrets. <gasps> what do you mean? <laughs> Just a picture of us. Do you want to take a picture Take a picture. Uh, take a picture art. Let me just take a cute baby picture. Look at him. Look at this baby. Oh no. Oh no, it's so cute. <laughs>今度写真を撮るときはレンズを見た方がいい。そうすればもっと自然な表情になるからね。うん、そうする。それでお兄さんもそろそろ帰るの？僕はまだ帰れないかな。もう帰りフィア。ここでまた別のショーをするからね。い
I mean, I probably have to stop here because, like, um, I I feel like my soul is leaving my body. Yeah, as much as I want to continue, my soul is freaking leaving my body. Help! Yeah. I hope you hate adventure and learn to hear that cool fact. I mean, he was pretty slimy, but like, I honestly just um, I still love him a lot. Yeah, he's pretty amazing. Ah, oh, then I want to see the mission description too. It's just that I don't want to like... Yank? Yank. Yank. Yank hard! <laughs> Do we get food? Oof, gun of extermination. Alright, let's just see. Do we see it? Get on stage, fear not. Never look back. Are we gonna go to the boss fight? Ugh, just been camel pain. Skipping basically every single enemy. <laughs> not yet, yeah, not yet, not yet. Uh, don't look back, don't fear guys, don't fear, don't look back, don't do anything. Just go forth and be free. You know what? Uh, today we're gonna like halt here for a bit, but but I'd like to show you my locha. Uh, I try my best. He's not very attacky, tacky, but like uh, he did. See, I did the two two. This increase speed, increase outgoing healing and stuff. And then like um, we also have uh, traces. He's not too bad on the traces. Uh, He's not too bad. He could be a bit stronger, but I'm low on resources. Uh, then we have this. I think I can superimpose one more level. I can give him an S4, so... Uh, I should probably give him the S4. Then the relics is like... Imaginary damage boost. And guys, look at this energy regeneration. Energy regen rope. Let's go. I heard those are rare. I heard those are rare. Look, look, look. I have them too. Look, look, look. I have two of these. Hey, energy regenerate. Hey. Anyway. They should give him HP orb instead. Uh, you see, I'm a bit limited on orbs. Yeah, I'm a bit limited on orbs. So I'm like, uh... HP orb, the course. It's the hardest thing ever. Yeah, so I have quite a few of those. Surprisingly, I was like, what? It's a ward? Maybe I should give him like Panacone's Grand Hotel, but it doesn't seem. Yeah, probably. Uh, next round, next round. Yeah, next round. Then we will have uh, Locha. Locha. Beautiful. Beautiful. He's a beautiful man. Uh, does this mean I should superimpose his light cone? Maybe I should superimpose his light cone. Like, because I do. Where is it? I do have an extra one. I do have an extra one here. Like, uh, maybe I should superimpose it. I'll just superimpose it then. Uh, superimpose. Let's see. Yeah, let's superimpose. He's gonna go to. Uh, he's gonna go to level four. Superimpose. Yes, superimpose it. S four, baby. It's S four. Game set is less important than stats. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. But like, I... I just don't have the ability to... <laughs> S4, S4, and my sparkle has... My sparkle has S5 stats, stats, stats. So she's pretty stonks. Uh, even though she doesn't really have like the... He doesn't really have uh, her signature light cone. <laughs> That's all I can give her. I'm, I am a weak, but I do have an extra dance dance dance. I'll probably give it to... Uh, does it belong to anyone? Uh, maybe I'll give it to Tingyun. <laughs> I'll give it to Tingyun when it's like more level up. Okay then, guys. I think it's uh, time to finally rest. 
I need to rest. I don't know about you guys, but I need to rest, okay? So thank you guys for watching. Alright, thank you to those on YouTube who have been sticking through me sticking with me through the um Honkai Star Real terror reading and everything. Okay, thank you so much. Uh for those of you on Twitch, please stay with me. It's time for me to send you guys off to someone else who is still playing. Okay, okay. Hey, yeah. Thank you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Uh yeah, hopefully tomorrow at some point tomorrow. Okay, uh yes me. Uh yes me the night. Uh yadi. Uh yadi. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.